do we have an outstanding game for you tonight. It's the annual State Fair Classic with the G-Men from Grambling taking on the Panthers from Prairie View A&M. And tonight they meet at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas. And grandeur Hello, everyone. I'm Butch Alcindor, State along with former Howard University linebacker Lemont Williams. We'll get to Santoria Black on the sideline in just a minute. But first of all, the Prairie View Panthers come into this game riding a five-game winning streak. But you know what? Grambling head coach Hugh Jackson says it's personal this time. In fact, he says it's personal against every team in the SWAC because he feels like his team got beat up a little bit last year. Yeah, Coach Jackson is going to try to establish himself after losing the last two seasons against Prairie View. He wants to run the ball, so it's definitely personal blitz here for this team tonight. Yeah, I think Coach has some receipts yeah. that he's hanging on to. <laughs> well, let's check out some players you may want to keep an eye on for tonight. We start with the Grambling Tigers. It's number seven, their quarterback, Miles Crawley. He's a transfer from Alabama State. This guy went to the Manning Passing Academy. He's done everything the Tigers could have wanted this season. Yeah, Crawley at 6'3 is an efficient performer and a pass for 195 yards and two touchdowns. And Butch, if he can start to minimize the interceptions, I mean, excuse me, Grandma State's going to have an outstanding first half. Yeah, of course, he's, his percentage yeah. is 59% from the field. On the other side, the Panthers have an outstanding quarterback themselves. And Trazon Connolly, he's number 14, as you can see, 57%. Great runner, yeah. but he can also throw the football. Yeah, Connolly is a very patient pocket present, a quarterback as well. Not afraid to throw the ball down the field, but he can run as well. Throwing for 187 yards and one touchdown last week. Okay, let's go now to the third member of our broadcast crew. That would be Santoria Black down on the ground. Butch, I tell you what, it is an unbelievable scene here in Dallas, Texas at the State Fair Classic. This venue right behind us, the Cotton Bowl, is going to be the site between two teams that are in the West. That's going to be unbelievable. But look, the fans are enjoying so much here, more than they're going to enjoy the football game. You've got music, you've got food, you've got all kinds of things, the great music that's going on right now. There is so much that goes on. And look, I'm going to tell you, later on, I'm going to try some fried food. I don't know what yet, but we're going to try some fried food as one of the staples here at the State Fair Classic in Dallas, Texas. Back to you, Butch. We're going to move on before Santoria gets to the fried ice cream kickoff coming up between Grambling and Prairie View. That's next on ESPN. And we are underway at the Cotton Bowl. The Grambling Tigers on the return. And it's going to be a nine-yard return. Not much for the Tigers there as they get the football to start the ball game. Hello, everyone. I'm Butch Alcindor along with Lee Mont Williams. And we're at the State Fair Classic. Of course, this game started back in 1925. But let's check out our impact players brought to you by GM. You see Crawley, Chance Williams, Conley, and Ahmad Antoine. Yeah, keep your eye on Chance Williams. He's an outstanding sophomore running back out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Rushed for 174 yards and one touchdown last week. So Miles Crawley will be the starting quarterback with an empty backfield here for the Tigers to start the ball game. Crawley will pass. Tries to go over the middle, but his running back was covered well that time. It's an incomplete pass on the play. Yeah, Grandma State is a team that wants to spread the ball, Butch, early and often, but also they're not afraid to run the football. Last week they rushed for 282 yards against Texas Southern, and right now we're seeing them spread the Prairie View Panthers defense out, but they're going to run here next. So Crawley is with another pass, throws it out near the sideline. There is a completed pass, but it's a short gain on the play as number 19, Antonio Jones, made the catch. Quick little out pass there to the receivers. Try to give your playmakers the ball in space. Good closing in tackle there for Prairie View. So that will set up a huge third down now for the Tigers on their first possession. Third and seven from Miles Crawley and company. Crawley comes into this game. Third in the swack in passing as he goes back to throw it again. Nice pocket. Fires near the sideline. That's a completed pass. And a first down for the Grambling Tigers once again. It's Antonio Jones on the reception for nine yards and a first down. Excellent job there. Play call there by Hugh Jackson, too. You can see that standing tall in the pocket with a quick out pass there to the receiver for the first down. Tigers going quickly with the football. Crawley looking back to his right again, and he has Jones again. 
and this time he picks up about eight yards on the play. So Crowley and Jones have the magic early in this game. Antonio Antonio Jones, who is fifth in the conference and, and receiving yards. Now let's go to the keys to the game brought to you by GM. You're looking at Grand State keys there, stopping the running game, forced turnovers, and time of possession here in Dallas. Second down, two. So second down and two to go now for the Tigers from Grambling, and we do have a pause on the field right there. By the way, our referee for today's game is Y.N. Myers. And you can see they're bringing the football back. So there was a flag on the play against the Tigers from Grambling. And Myers is over to talking to Coach Hugh Jackson, trying to explain exactly what happened on the play. You know, it's interesting, Lima, coming into this game. We mentioned Crawley is a transfer from Alabama State, where he actually started as a freshman. Yeah. So this guy has a lot of experience. He's been around the SWAC a long time. And he, so far, he's doing exactly what Grambling wants. And so now they reset everything. So now we're going back. We're first down. They're going to do redo first down. First and 10 for the tight. Crawley on the move. Passes near the sideline. It is complete. He has a man. That is Javon Robinson oh, who Passing rips up a big game Javon for the Tigers. A 21-yard reception to Javon Robinson. Yeah, quick pass out to the freshman and Robertson. And as you can see right there, look at the speed as he explodes down the sideline for Grambling State offense. I love what I'm seeing from Grambling State. We have to spread out this defense to take advantage of the playmakers on the outside. This time, the Tigers come out with four wide outs to the right side. They have a single receiver on the left. Crawley looks to the left, completes his pass to Lyndon Rash, who squeezes that football for a six-yard gain. Of course, last season, Rash was the leading receiver on this team. And, Butch, what we're, what we're watching right now from Grambling State offense Well, they started at the 49. Yeah. <laughs> Will the Prairie View band please refrain from playing when Grambling has the ball? Thank you. And that is why in Myers, our referee with the warning to the Prairie View band, <laughs> please do not play while yeah. Grambling has the football. And it's funny we talked about that off air, about if there's two battles. You got the one on the football field as well as, well as the ones in the stands with the band. Crawley four for five for 38 yards as he completes another one, this time to Robinson again, and he dives close to the 40-yard line, a gain of nine for the Tigers. So, so far, the Tigers are not having any problem moving the football up to getting that first down. Not at all. Now, like play calling, too, they want to continue to get the ball out in space to their playmakers. Excellent job by giving it to the freshman for another pickup positive yard. So, first and ten for the Tigers. Crawley again with another pass, has his man, and had Rash not fallen down on the play, he might have been a bigger gain. He had a lot of open space in front of him. Well, you know, what's happening is that Prairie View is playing off the receivers, and you give Crawley credit, though. He's going to his quick draw, guys, to the outside. What Prairie View continue to have their cornerback play off of the receivers. You're giving uh, Crawley enough time and space to be able to give the ball to his receivers. Second and short now. Make it second and three for the Tigers. This time, the first run of the ball game goes to Falk there. Floyd, Chalk, and Chalk breaks it around the right side, and that is a huge game for Floyd Chalk, the 5'9", 185-pound freshman. 27-yard pickup on the carry. Outstanding run there. You can see by Chalk, the sophomore. He's a hard nosed runner, and he's displaying it in this replay here, Green running Bulldog. hard down the field for Tigers, like getting them in the, the red zone. You know, you mentioned it early on, Mark how Prairie. Rambling rushed for 282 yards last week At against Texas Southern. So far today, minus Prairie. that run, all we've seen are, are <laughs> yeah. passes. It's, so they're mixing it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was going to say they're definitely mixing it up on us right now. First and goal to go for the Grambling Tigers. Crawley looking into the end zone with the pass, and it's incomplete. But there is a flag down right in the vicinity. He was trying to hit Lyndon Rash in the corner. Let's take another look. Man-to-man coverage on the outside. Rash tried to catch the ball at the highest peak. Couldn't get his arms up, which drew the flag. Looks like it's going to be against Prairie View. Question on the phone. Let's see what the officials have. After the play, unsportsmanlike, wow. offense, number 71. That 15-yard penalty will be enforced from the previous spot, third down. Number 71, that is Melvin Priestley, the big offensive tackle. 
with a really bad penalty right there because the G-men were moving the football. Let's take another look and watch number 71. You see the pass going up high to the receiver. The play, with the flag was actually called after the play. We don't see it in this, in this scene here in the shot there, but it was called on number 71, which hurts the Tigers, which pushes them back outside of the red zone. Yeah, you know, that's the after first the setback of the game for Grambling. They have moved the football down the field with ease to this point, but now we have a second and long to go for the G-men. Crawley at quarterback turns, and he hands again to Floyd Chalk, and this time... The Panthers respond in a big way as they come up behind Calvin Presley, leading the charge on that stop inside. Look at the guy Looking shooting the gaps, making no running lanes for Chalk. As Prairie View defense collapses on him, look at the linebacker as well. Keyshawn Johnson, remember his name, because we're going to talk about him a lot throughout this game. Keyshawn Johnson, the leading tackler for the Panthers this year, came into this game with 35 tackles. He's a transfer from Louisiana Monroe, and boy, Coach could not yeah. stop raving about him. Yeah, Coach uh, Bubba McDowell talked about him being the quarterback of the defense. So third and goal now. Crawley's going to toss it to the end zone, and that one is almost picked off. He overshot his man. He was trying to hit Knight, the, the big tight end, but the pass too long. And Give credit to Prairie View's defense playing ball. zone backside right to there the to watch the line. pass go a little bit too far past the receiver. Looks like now the Tigers, Tigers are forced to go forced for a field goal. So fourth down, and that will bring on Tanner Ranker on the field for the Tigers. It will be a 35-yard attempt on the field goal. He's two of three on the season, has a long of 31 yards. Good snap, nice hole. Ranker's kick is up, and it is good. A nice kick by Tanner Ranker, and it gives the Tigers from Grambling a 3-0 lead. We'll be right back. For this, for that. Buy one, get one. Buy one, get one. So when you buy one for this, you get one for that. With Publix BOGOs on Instacart, when you buy one, you get one. For this, 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 and yeah, even that. Instacart and Publix. Add life to cart. Check Instacart for new Publix BOGOs every week. Focus. Determination. Drive. Some say we're born with it. Some say it lies within Jennifer's purse at Carousel 3. Liquid IV powder delivers rapid hydration with three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink to help you play defense against the world's coolest offense. Because real life is extreme enough. Liquid IV. Real hydrating. Now it's sugar-free. Sell to your customers anywhere with Shopify, the commerce platform designed for entrepreneurs. Online, on social, in person, and on the go. Get the tools you need to sell the way you want. Powered by Shopify. Smile Direct Club makes it easier than ever to straighten your teeth. Go from your phone to doctor-directed care to a smile you love in as little as four to six months. It's easy to get results and easy to get started. Just download the free app, do a quick scan, and see how your teeth can move start to finish. See your new smile in minutes on the Smile Direct Club app. Smile Direct Club. You're watching the State Fair Classic at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, and you can see the Grambling Tigers just went on a 12-play, 71-yard drive. It took them 5:04 before Tanner Rinker drilled a 35-yard field goal to put Grambling out in front. And on that drive, Miles Crawley was definitely the catalyst, completing 6 of 9 for 54 yards. I agree, Butch, and I really like the fact that it was able to spread out Prairie View's defense and go to their playmakers early and often to the outside to establish their passing game to get Crawley in the, in the groove of this football game early in the first quarter. They sprinkled in one or two runs, but that penalty was the, uh, definitely hurt for them in their offense in the red zone, pushed them back. 
was forced to field goal. Yeah, and then we mentioned all the rushing yards last week for Grambling, and they come out on a possession, and they do nothing but pass the football. Yeah. Well, I guess, you know, anticipation, I think, you know, Coach Bubba McDowell and his defensive staff was anticipating them coming out, running the football because they like to ground and pound. Caught Prairie View defense off guard with the passing quick to the outside, which moved the football down the field. But bending but not breaking in the red zone was a Prairie View Panthers defense, which forced the field goal. So the Tigers from Grambling are set to kick it off. Back to the Panthers now. They'll get their first opportunity on offense. Kick sails down deep to about the three-yard line. And here come the Panthers on the return. It's Brian Jenkins, and he had a little hole, and he's finally knocked down at the 29-yard line. So he has a 24-yard return for Brian Jenkins, Jr. Well, let's take this time to check out our keys to the game for the Panthers, brought to you by GM. Yeah, if you're the Panthers, you want to play hard-nosed Prairie View football on the road here in Dallas, Texas. Make no mistakes on the road as well, but make big plays. you got to make big plays, and right there, the special team set them up. It's a really good field position right here on offense. Time now for our first look at Trazon Conley, the quarterback for the Panthers. He puts Ahmad Antoine in motion, turns, gives it to Antoine, and he's caught in the backfield by Lane Lewis. Lane Lane Lewis from the Grambling Tigers with a big play and a loss on the play for the Panthers. Yeah, excellent job there by Lewis, shooting the gaps here. Watch this here. Shoot the gaps, get behind the line of scrimmage to make a sound tackle, wrapping up the running back. For a tackle for loss. Conley comes into this game having completed 51 of his 90 passes, and he will throw it on second down. Has some time. Fires has a man open. It's a completed pass. Nice strike from Conley to number 10, Trey John Spiller, with a nice catch there. It's good for nine yards on the play. Conley is a quarterback that's very patient in the pocket. He's not rattled a senior, a redshirt senior out of. Duncanville High School, we're going to watch him throughout this game, but be able to stand tall in the pocket and play pitch and catch with his receiver all tonight. That was the eighth reception of the year for Spiller, and it's good for a first down for the Panthers. Conley on first down, steps up. Fires has a man wide open near the sideline. That is Ahmad Antoine, and he's finally spun down after a huge gain of 23 yards for the Panthers. Yeah, Antoine's known to run the football, but guess what? He can catch it as well. Good pass there by Conley outside to a mob, to Antoine to be able to pick up the first down. Yeah, it's interesting because Conley made that happen by stepping up in the pocket, forced the defense to make a choice. This time, comes back, gives to Antoine a big hole, and Ahmad Antoine is down inside the five. A nice run of 34 yards setting up a first and goal to go for the Panthers. And that's exactly what you need out of Antoine to be able to explode against this Tigers defense. Watch this as he bowls his way down to the close to the goal line and get his team in the red zone. Excellent job there by Prairie yeah, responding to Texas, I mean, excuse me, to the Tigers defense. So first and goal, Antoine on the carry, and he's very close to the goal line. That's and that's a touchdown for Prairie View and m Ahmad Antoine doing the job on the first possession for the Panthers. And Butch, it didn't take long for the red shirt senior out of New Orleans. And Antoine, watch this here as he gets the handoff. He sneaks behind the guard off the left side to sneak into the end zone for the Prairie View Panthers' first touchdown. Yeah, for Ahmad Antoine, that was a three-yard TD run. And it did not take the Panthers long to move the football downfield and move ahead in this ball game. Five plays, 70 yards, and it took PV two minutes and 56 seconds. Two minutes and six seconds, excuse me, before he put it in for the touchdown. 7-3 Prairie View will be right back after this timeout. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the falling hydration levels. Mm. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish. We are exactly what you think. We are not at all what you think. We are past, present, and future. All in one. Because the best way to honor our history make history. General Motors, honored to sponsor the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Doritos created Solid Black in 2021 to help build the initiatives of black leaders seeking to drill change. 
And this year, Dorito Solid Black is welcoming 16 new change makers to the program. We are Solid Black. Talking about dropping the ball. I got the score. <laughs> Tostitos Hardy Dippers. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the fall in hydration levels. Mm. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish. In 1920, an athletic league was and slowly became one of the leading sports associations in the world of collegiate athletics, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Today, the SWAC is looking towards the next century, growing, supporting, and transforming our intercollegiate sports activities for student athletes and promoting academic excellence. Each SWAC member institution represents a high level of integrity and sportsmanship. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. Welcome back, everyone, to the State Fair Classic in Dallas, of course, at the Cotton Bowl. This game actually started in 1925. Can you believe that? First game was Wiley College taking on Langston University. Later, Prairie View came in in 1929. That last drive, 60 yards on the drive, 38 rushes on the, play, on the drive, and 22 receiving yards for the Panthers as they kick it off. Goes deep, the ball is fielded at the 10, and here come the Tigers back on the return, and a big tackle, a big stick right there on number 9, C.J. Guidry on the 20-yard return. Let's go down to Santoria Black. Back here at the Cotton Bowl here in Dallas, Texas, Bush. And I tell you what, it is really, really an exciting atmosphere. Dr. Nicole Roebuck, she is the director of bands at Grand Lake State University. Dr. Roebuck, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Dr. Roebuck, the world fame truly has traveled the world. I mean, you guys have done a lot of things. Yes, hence the name, World Fame. <laughs> Absolutely. Now talk about some of the things that the band has done so far this year. So, so far this year, we have traveled to uh, New Jersey. I mean, we've had a couple of home games. And always, we have some exciting things coming up this year. Now, of course, you guys have been done Vegas. You've done All-Star Games. You've done Super Bowls. What is it like when you travel with this World Fame? Man, the experience is like none other. Uh, I tell the kids when they come in, you're going to make some memories that you're going to have for a lifetime. And I just think about the times when I was in the band. You know, I was a freshman in 95. Now I'm telling my age. But I just think about the memories that I made. And I make sure as director now that those memories I can instill in those children that I have in the band now, and they can take them with them to, you know, just have as lifelong memories. Absolutely. Dr. Nicole Roebuck, director of bands of the world-famed Tiger Marching Band. Back to you, Butch. Thank you very much, Santoria. We had a penalty on the play, so we will re-kick the football. Prairie View will have to re-kick again. That means Guillermo Rodriguez will tee it up again, and the Grambling Tigers should come out of this with excellent field position after that penalty. Yeah, penalties have been Achilles' heel for both teams. We talked about that with both coaches this week, Butch, and as we see so far early in this first quarter, both teams are suffering from penalties. Kick sails down to the six, and here come the Tigers on the return. It's number 82, Joshua Johnson, and he does a nice job getting it up to about the 28-yard line, a return of 22, and we have some tempers flaring down there on the field, and uh, that's not surprising. This is a huge, <laughs> yeah. huge rivalry. Yeah, it's not surprising at all. Both teams are playing out of the West Division, and right now they're 1-2, and, you know, a lot of teams are coming in with a lot of, you know, at a state right now for both teams, and both universities has a lot of history in this game, and things are getting chippy earlier on in this first quarter. So the Grambling Tigers actually came into this big game, the State Fair Classic, in 1985, and that's when it became a thing. So this is the 37th meeting between Prairie View A&M and the Grambling Tigers. And Grambling will start with the football first and 10 from the 29. And they go back to the running game. And a nice gain on first down as number two Chance Williams carries for four yards to get the drive started on the right foot. Yeah, the first carry for Chance Williams, the sophomore out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I highlighted him in the opening, rushing for 174 yards last week and one touchdown. He's averaging about 9.2 yards per carry. 
hopefully he can get out to a better start Tigers, here in this first quarter. Down six. Miles Crawley at quarterback for the Tigers. He's fourth in total offense in the SWAC so far this year. Turns, fakes it to Williams this time. Looking downfield, now he pulls it down. He's going to just throw it away uh, on well, the right Crawley side. Pass. So might have been a good decision by Crawley yeah. there. He wanted to go deep, but good coverage in that secondary right there by the Panthers. Yeah, Crawley didn't like what he saw down the field. and We call that a cover sack right there. Prairie did an excellent job of the man-to-man -man coverage, not having anyone open. Crawley doing the smart thing, throwing the ball away and living for another down. Third down, six. Crawley on third and six. Has some time, has a man open, and it's a completed pass to Antonio Jones, who's going to have a huge gain. He's got a first down on the 15-yard pickup. I really like what I saw the sophomore right there out of Atlanta, Georgia, and Jones being able to get off the coverage, come back to the football, get the reception, and then continue to move this drive down the field for the Tigers' offense with the first down. Antonio Jones came into this ball game ranked fifth in the SWAC in receiving yards and catches, and then they go back to the run again. It's Chance Williams, and he's going to pick up close to five yards on that carry, but a good stop by the PV defense. We're watching the Tigers use their offense, use their passing game to open up their running game, but typically you see vice versa from them, but this time, against a team that they want to establish themselves early and often against Prairie View. They want to establish the passing game, which eventually will open up the running game for Chance Williams as well as Clark. So, Lee, man, I was talking about this matchup with Grambling coming in in 85. G-Men actually lead the series overall 27-10 as they go back to the run again and a nice hole on the right side and a big gain by Floyd Chalk for 19 yards. Great blocking up front by the Panthers. Watch the offensive line open up the lane as Chalk bounces to the outside, runs over one defender and bounces off the second. But we have a flag on the play. Hopefully it is not against the Tigers because that was a hard-nosed run there by Chalk. Yeah, that, that, Personal foul, defense, number seven. That 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. First down. You heard the call from our referee, Y. Ian Myers. And number seven, Jeremiah Harris is the guilty party, and that is a huge penalty against the Panthers. It's going to be a big gain for the Tigers as we take a look at some of the rushing stats here. Chalk, who's doing a great job in the backfield, is three carries for 50 yards. So yeah, yeah, Chalk is an outstanding running, running back for the Tigers this season, a hard-nosed run, especially in the red zone. So they give it inside to Chalk again. He spins back inside, and this time there's no bend to that Panthers defense. Jeremiah Harris, one of the Panthers on the tackle. Yeah, Harris made up for that flag just then. Come unblocked from the outside, making the sound tackle. One-on-one -on -one breaking down Chalk there in the backfield. Line of scrimmage, no gain on the play. So the G-Men with excellent field down, position. Ten. The ball resting at about the 14-yard line. And both teams are moving the football extremely well. Yeah. From an offensive standpoint, as we watch Miles Crawley getting the play from the sideline. Been impressed with both teams so far in this first half. Very action-packed. Teams are moving the ball down the field. Now the referees is, are out. going to stop the play. Grambling. Timeout on the, the play. Of the half. Charge to the Grambling Tigers as they are on the move. They want to talk about it a little bit. But 7-3 is our score. Prairie View out in front. Welcome to life in the new open web, where innovation keeps pace with imagination and the future arrives daily. Viant is pioneering a new approach to media, combining AI with human insight, creating new ways to reach customers and new standards of measurement both on and offline. Viant, built for the new open web, built for now. You've got too much on your plate to worry about what to put on it next. That's where we come in. We're Factor, your one-stop shop for fresh, fully prepared meals, packed with premium ingredients, and ready to heat and eat in two minutes flat. Did we mention delivered right to your door? Yeah, we got that covered too. 
Looks like eating well just got a whole lot easier. Visit factormeals.com slash 50 and use code 50 for 50% off. It's hard to run a business on your own. With Shopify, you have everything you need to set up your online store, to connect with customers, and to bring your dream business to life. Because when we work together, the future... Welcome back to the Cotton Bowl. The Grambling Tigers taking on Prairie View A&M. And this just happened a minute ago. Into the end zone, the toss for J.R. Waters. But he could not hang on as he ended up on the front row right there. So Crawley looking for Waters into the end zone. Very, very close to a touchdown. Yeah, very close. Right after the timeout, you can see Coach Hugh Jackson was in that shot there. He wanted to be able to go to the end zone early and often take advantage of that Prairie View defense. Unfortunately, they did not get the reception. Timeout. So, another timeout. <laughs> Back. So Gramley second, second. called ahead, another ahead. timeout. Their timeout. second timeout here in the first quarter. So they're going to go over to the sideline to talk about it. And that is very interesting because, of course, Coach Hugh Jackson in his second season with the Grambling Tigers. A lot of you will remember him. He came over from the Cleveland Browns. He has more than 35 years of coaching experience. But what's really interesting is he brought in offensive coordinator Tony Hall. And I asked him during our conversation, well, why Tony? I mean, how, what made him so special? He said, because he and I gel. Yeah. He said, I want to still be a part of the offense. And Tony understood that, and I can bring him in, and we, mm -hmm. we, we share the same philosophy. It's all about chemistry and continuity. And if Coach Hugh Jackson brings in somebody he's familiar with, it's going to help him throughout the season. And I know a lot about Coach Hugh Jackson as well. He was my running back coach when I signed with the, as an undrafted free agent for the Washington Redskins back in 2004. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he says, you know, we talked about it on the top. He said he is definitely taking every game personal. Yeah. <laughs> he felt like last year the Tigers got beat up a little bit. He felt like teams were making fun of him. Here, here come the Tigers with their NFL coach. He said, you know what? we got a better team than that. And he said, we want to show it this year. Yeah, everything is personal, Coach Hugh Jackson. He's a guy that he loves his X's and O's, and he takes a lot of things personally. He wears his emotions on his sleeve. And he's a guy that's going to come at you, and we've seen – so far in this first quarter, he's going to mix it up, throwing the ball, but he's going to establish that running game with the pounding ground between uh, Chance Williams as well as Floyd Chalk throughout this game. Grambling comes into this game 2-2 two and two overall, 1-0 and oh in SWAC play. The Prairie View Panthers 2-2 two and two overall, but the Panthers are 2-0 and oh in SWAC play. This is a big game in the West. Now we have a huge third and 10 for the Tigers. Pass underneath is right on the money to Robinson. A good completion to Javon Robinson for nine yards. That's going to set up a first and goal to go for the Tigers. Excellent pass by Crawley. Man-to-man -man coverage across the middle. Crawley put it right in front of his receiver so he can get the reception in the first down. Tigers go quickly. Now Crawley gives off to Williams around the left side. And Chance Williams pushed out of bounds on the one. But there is a flag thrown on the play, and that may go against the offensive team. Might be called for holding on the Tigers' offensive line. We'll get the call here in a second. But Chance Williams, man, that speed to be able to bounce to the outside, to be able to pick up some yards and get close to the goal line. Holding. Offense. Number 71. 10-yard penalty. Third down. Yeah, Melvin Priestley not having one of those yeah. uh, good days to this point, Ross. Second penalty against Priestley with the team in the red zone yeah. with an opportunity to score. So that's going to move them back again. And I'm sure the transfer from Louisiana Tech is not going to be happy about that. The big 6'4", 295-pounder. Well, I tell you, Butch, Coach Hugh Jackson is not going to be happy about that because it pushes them back now for another field goal opportunity once they was in the red zone to be able to threaten for a score. So a 33-yard attempt from Tanner Rinker. And now we have a flag down, and the whistles blow quickly. And the officials will talk about this again. So once again, Grambling, get the, they got the football down into the red zone, and because of their own issues, yep. they're going to have to settle for another field goal attempt. Well, last week they had 11 penalties for 98 yards. And you talk about a game like this, it's going to come down to penalties, who minimize the penalties, as well as time and possession. And right now, 
Uh, Grambling State is shooting himself in the foot, especially in the red zone. The offensive lineman has to understand you cannot hold and be able to hurt your offense because anytime you do that, it's going to push you out of the red zone for field goals. You can't win a game like this with just field goals on. Last week in the game against Texas Southern for the Tigers, they were penalized 11 times for 98 yards, and that, that penalty bugaboo is raising his head again. As Tanner Ranker comes out, this is a 33-yard attempt. He gets it up, and Rinker is two for two in this ball game as he drilled it. Nice job by Tanner Rinker. So he's good from 35 today, and he's good from 33 on that one, and the Grambling Tigers pull to within one. Let's go to Santoria Black downstairs. One of the things that the Grambling Tigers, Butch, that was that really what they want to do is they want to cut down on the penalties. They've been very efficient inside the red zone this year, but one of the things that Coach Jackson said, we have to cut down on the mental errors. Meanwhile, Prairie View, they have done extremely well defensively. When they took that last time out, then Grambling did. One of the things that the Prairie View coaches says, keep the pressure on them. Don't let them get to the outside and make big plays. Back to you, Butch. Yeah, they need to minimize the penalties. Yeah. We've talked a lot about yeah. that. But uh, today, it's been especially bad because it's probably cost them points with them knocking on the door to maybe scoring a touchdown instead having to settle for a field goal. You have to understand, too, but, you know, you don't get that many opportunities to get into the red zone. When you do, you want to execute it. Unfortunately for the Tigers, they keep shooting themselves in the foot by with those penalties and bonehead uh, opportunities. you got to be able to execute when you're in the red zone against a team like Prairie View. If you're the Tigers, if you want to win this game. You can't win it solely based on field goal. So Rinker getting set to kick it off. Back to return. Brian Jenkins, Jr., one of the return men for the Panthers. And the kick is going to sail. And we have another flag down in the end zone. So it's going to be, looks like. So this is the second re-kick in this ball game because of a penalty. So 4.15 to go here in the first quarter at the Cotton Bowl in the annual State Fair Classic between the Prairie View A&M Panthers and the Grambling Tigers. And so far, so good. I mean, what we're seeing from both teams offensively, they're clicking. I mean, moving the ball down the field, we saw uh, the Tigers be able to move the ball twice offensively by throwing the football as well as running the ball in the red zone with Chance Williams and Floyd Chalk. But you also saw Prairie View Butch, I mean, right in their opening drive, moving down the field with Conley, and you got to give credit to Ahmad Antoine. He did an excellent job by getting to the red zone and executing from the two-yard line, pushing it in for the touchdown for the Prairie View Panthers. So Ranker will do it again, this time from five yards deeper. Boy, he got a good kick. This one sails deep down inside the five at about the four, and here comes Brian Jenkins, Jr., and Jenkins, Jr. takes it up to around the 30-yard line as he returned the kick. Good job, guys. Good job, good job. Swack football on ESPN is presented by Pepsi, the official partner of the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and by GM, proud sponsor of the Swack. So last time the Panthers had the football, they had no problems moving it all the way down the field for a touchdown, and now they are set for possession number two in the game. Conley turns. Hands it straight ahead and a nice gain on first down by Caleb Johnson. Carries for about six yards, man. And Caleb Johnson is an interesting story because he transferred in from Mississippi Valley State and he was one of the top running backs in the swag when he was at Mississippi Valley State. And he's very familiar with the conference and being able to go back from Mississippi Valley to Prairie View. Coach Bubba McDowell was shocked that he was able to transfer in. He had to call him just to verify, but having Caleb Johnson is also an addition to this offense, and he's going to be able to help them in this first quarter. So Johnson picking up five yards right there and a first down for the PB Panthers. And Coach Bubba McDowell during our coach's call this year, as we take another look here, I'll get back to that. That's a good play up the middle there, bouncing to the outside. You know, Johnson be able to leave behind those two offensive guards, I mean, offensive guard and tackle, help them pick up the first down. But Coach McDowell was talking about both these teams 
they would prefer to do the ground and pound yeah. and keep it on the ground and, and pick up that tough yardage. So Conley this time, three receivers to his left, drops back to pass. Conley has to slide over to his left, still on his feet, and he's finally going to slide down near midfield. We'll see where the officials put it down. The keeper. But it looks like a gain of six yards for Trazon Conley. Watch this from Conley. He'll be able to escape from the defender there. The high step and then slide down to pick up some extra more yards for the Panthers' offense. Yeah, that was Lewis Matthews giving chase. And, that, and that's one big guy when he did yeah. that high step is because Lewis Matthews, the leading tackle tackler for the Grambling Tigers, was right on his heels. So second down, and they go back to the running game. And this time, the Grambling Tigers meet the challenge. Jaden Hardy, first one to get there, big number 98. Yeah. With the stop for uh, the Tigers. Stop. Yeah, that was a good stop there for the Tigers, bouncing back out to Conley to be able to get some positive yards. You want to see your front seven be able to work up front there in short distance situation. And he did an excellent job there, stopping the run, and making it third down and three to go. So the Panthers have done a good job all season long of creating third and short situations, third and manageable situations. And they go right back to the running game. And he's going to be very close to the sticks. In fact, it appeared that he got the first down, and it's a first down for the Panthers on the carry by number three, Caleb Johnson. And Johnson was able to sneak in there with his size. He's... At 5'10", listed, but he was able to sneak in underneath the offensive lineman to be able to lean forward and get the extra yards for the first down. So Johnson is actually in his sixth year of eligibility. So as we said, that's a lot of experience. First down, Conley goes to the air. It's a completed pass, and he found his receiver on the play, and it's a complete for a first down. For the Panthers, number six, Jaquan Bloomfield on the catch. I really like that pitch and catch there from Conley to the receiver. Conley, again, a very patient quarterback in the pocket, was able to wait for his receiver to break out of that route to be able to hit him with that pass for the first down. You know, Coach talked about Conley being an excellent runner, but his passing game is improving as the season goes on. They come right back, go to the run again. It's Johnson. And this time, no room in the end. I mean, he got zero on that carry. Yeah, give credit to the front seven there for, or the front four for the Tigers to be able to shut down the running lanes to be able to force Johnson to go nowhere for no gain. No gain on the play. So second and ten. Second down ten. Coming up for the Panthers. Drive started on the 32. This is the eighth play of the drive. So another long drive underway for the Panthers. Conley moving a little bit to his right, goes deep, has a man up there, and it's broken up. A great play by Cedric Anderson in coming in to knock that one away. Yeah, Cedric Anderson was an athlete on that play there. Conley going deep, has two receivers in the location, but watch the defender be able to get high, knock the ball down, and save his defense on that play. Another look there as Conley goes deep to his receiver, two receivers in the same area, but the defender be able to get up high, knock the ball down for the Tigers defense. Yeah, Conley had a man out there, open, but a great recovery by Cedric Anderson. The ball had a lot of air under it, but that was very close to being a Prairie View touchdown, if not for Anderson knocking that one away. So now for Trazon Conley and company, and of course for Conley, this is a big game, I'll tell you why, but this is third and ten as he goes to the wide receiver screen, completes his pass, that is Shamar Savage, he's and he's still, up. <laughs> still on his feet fighting for that Whoa. extra yard. It's on the play, and I think he picked up the first down. Excellent job there. It's all about heart and work ethic, as you see on that last play. Watch this here. but As he throws the bubble screen to the outside, watch this bounce off one, two, three tacklers and keep his legs moving for the first down for Prairie View. Shamar Savage with a big play and a first down for the Panthers. State Fair Classic, folks. We'll be back. PV out front, 7-6. I avoided credit cards most of my life. But when I started to create a streaming platform for musicians like me, I knew it was important to build my credit to set my business up right. I heard about the Chime Credit Builder card, and I signed up right away. I didn't have to worry about fees, interest, or credit checks. Within a month, my score went up. Now it's up over 100 points. I feel set up for success, and so is my business. I tell everybody about the Chime Credit Builder Card. Here we go. Check it out at Chime.com. Here we have Factor. 
they deliver fresh chef made ready meals right to your front door and they are absolutely delicious. What I love about Factor is one, the convenience, two, the taste, three, it just provides some variety. Meat options, they provide veggie options, they have keto, they have calorie smart, very fitting to all lifestyles. None of them are frozen, they come fresh and ready to go. Pop it in the microwave or pop them in the oven. Try it out, just try it out. Visit factormeals.com slash 50 and use code 50 for 50% 50 off. Choosing between my hair and sex drive? Not anymore. Support visibly thicker, fuller hair with 100% drug-free hair growth supplements. Start your hair growth journey at Nutrafol.com slash men. You pop them in, you go to bed, and they do all the work. Straighten your teeth while you sleep with Smile Direct Club Nighttime Aligners. You just put them in when you go to bed. You don't have to wear them all day. They don't interfere with your daily lifestyle at all. You can have your teeth straightened while you sleep. Who doesn't have time to wear something while they're sleeping? I'm able to wear them just at night, and it's perfect for me. Choose easy. Choose smile. Thanks, Smile Direct Club. Get started for free at SmileDirectClub.com. I'm Andrea, founder of a boutique handbag brand, Andy. And this is why I switched to Shopify. It's the challenges that we don't expect, like a site going down or the checkout wouldn't work. What's nice about Shopify is when I'm with my family, when I'm taking time off, knowing that I have a site up and running and our business is moving forward because we have a platform that we can rely on, that is gold to us. Start your free trial with Shopify today. Hunger Root is here and I needed it because my fridge is super empty. I'm gonna open the box. That's the exciting part. Hungry Root came through. And my refrigerator is packed. Welcome back, everyone, and you can see Prairie View with the football here at the State Fair Classic, and that's going to be a tough run on the play by the Panthers. Number two, Wisham is in the ball game. Connor Wisham on the carry. His first carry of the ball game only got a yard on the play, though. What a first quarter, Butch. I mean, so t so far, both teams rushing the ball pretty well. And as you can see, the rush yards on your screen, Grambling with 61 and Prairie View with 56, just like Lemont was saying there. Both teams, yeah. these teams are ranked one and two in the SWAC and rushing. Grambling is number one. Prairie View is number two, and we're seeing that today. Yeah, they're going to go at each other back and forth, back and forth. It seems like we're in a heavyweight bout right now so far in this game. No doubt about it. Second down and nine coming up now for the Panthers. Conley turns, gives to Wisham again. He dances inside. He's going to come up with a nice low gain. Two yards on the play for the offensive team. Nice job by Connor Wisham. The sophomore from Baton Rouge went to Zachary High School. Panthers have three backs that they like to go to. Of course, Ahmad Antoine is number one, but Caleb Johnson gets a lot of looks, and then you'll see Wisham in there as a change of play. You always want Change to keep pace, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, you always, but you always want to keep fresh legs at the running back position as well. You know, if you guys, guys, staying guys, staying healthy throughout the season, that helps too. Third and seven coming up. This is the twelfth play of the drive. It actually started on the thirty-two. Connolly looking to pass, had some time, rose to his right, down toward the end zone, and he's a little too high, a little too tall for Shamar Savage who was trying to work his way open down the sideline. You can see Conley rolling out to the right. Watch this play here as he goes up to Savage. Offense, number 60. But fourth down. We do have a flag on the play that was declined, so that'll bring up fourth down for the PV Panthers. But that was another one of those just-missed plays. Yeah, it ran out of real estate for, for Savage. But, again, the penalties is what we need to focus on for both teams. It seems like once teams get... Closer to the red zone, they're shooting themselves in the foot with these penalties. So a field goal attempt now coming up for the PV Panthers. It's going to be a 39-yard attempt by Carlos Villa Gomez, number 97. 
Good snap, good hold, and Villa Gomez's kick is on the way, and it is good. He drilled it, and the Panthers increased their lead. It's now 10-6 over the G-Men. In 1920, an athletic league was formed and slowly became one of the leading sports associations in the world of collegiate athletics, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Today, the SWAC is looking towards the next century, growing, supporting, and transforming our intercollegiate sports activities for student athletes and promoting academic excellence. Each SWAC member institution represents a high level of integrity and sportsmanship. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. When you join the HBCU family, you become part of the tradition of breaking barriers in your community, breaking ground in your career, and bringing it with everything you do. From how you look to how you move in the classroom, on the court, and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those to add to it in their own way. We are exactly what you think. We are not at all what you think. We are past, present, and future, all in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. General Motors, honored to sponsor the Southwestern Athletic Conference. In 1920, an athletic league was and slowly became one of the leading sports associations in the world. Of we are back at the Cotton Bowl, and as you can see, the Prairie View Panthers have a 10-6 lead. They just kicked off here in the second quarter, and so the Grambling Tigers will come out on offense the after the short line. return. Ball resting on the 18-yard line as they go back on offense behind Miles Crawley, who's done a good job at quarterback today. We mentioned at the top he's third in the SWAC in passing. And, of course, we know about their running attack. And the Tigers come right back out to the run to Chance Williams. And not a lot going on right there at all. Williams may have gotten two yards on that. Yeah, he barely picked it up, too, as well. But, but it looks like the Tigers are going to pick up their tempo offensively, going with a quick opportunity here to try to catch Prairie off guard defensively. Second and eight, they go back to Williams. Williams trying to get outside, slips one tackle, and then now he's caught and dropped Once after again, a gain of about five yards, Thompson pretty close to five yards with Chance Williams on that carry. To the -yard line. Excellent job there by Prairie View. Stand home, you can see guys swarming in on Chance Williams. You want to always see your guys running to the football, and Prairie View did that on that last play. Third down now, of course. Third down. Grambling. Four. Has done a good job with the football. They've had some long drives in this game, just like Prairie View. So this is one of the big downs. Third and three with 12-11 to go here in the second quarter. Crawley puts a running back in motion. That is Williams. He passes the opposite way, goes to the screen. Some room up there for Antonio Jones. Oh. And Jones is oh, upended after he picks up 19 yards. And a first down for the Tigers. Good effort there by Jones. Even though he was upended at the last play, Crawley goes out to him and watch Jones. Bounces back to the outside. Upended there, but it was job well done by Jones to pick up the first down. Back to the line of scrimmage quickly. Crawley again to his big tight end. That's Knighton. And he's bumped out of bounds over there near the sidelines. That is Keyshawn Johnson. On the stop for the Panthers after a gain of four yards. And Butch, I tell you, Knight is a guy that's hard to bring down. 6'2", 280, sophomore out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You say he's a big tight end. That's an understatement. Getting the ball out in space, he's going to make it very difficult for those short DBs to bring him down. A transfer from my old school, McNeese State, with a big catch there. Empty backfield now for Crawley. Looking to his left, and this time he just flips it out there. And the officials looks. looking at it like it might be a live ball. He did make the motion like he was throwing the pass, but I was watching that official at the yeah. top, and he looked like he was singling a uh, live ball. Yeah, watch this here. Crawley just throws it out there. Watch again. He just throws it out there. No one is there. It Please. should have been either attention or grounding, but the, Pan the Panthers thought it was a live football. 
Well, he's very lucky that was called an incomplete pass yeah, because ahead, another yeah. version of it might have been a yards. fumble that slipped yeah. out of his hands. So the <laughs> Tigers will keep it. Third and six for Grambling. Crawley again near the sideline and a great catch over wow. there by Nashawn Dickerson. Nice. What a grab near the sidelines <laughs> for the first down. Yeah, Dickerson is getting pulled all Mark kinds Bradley. of ways Linda and Rush. be able to focus and concentrate, bring the reception in for the first Tigers. down for the Tigers. Nice look over there by Crawley, but an even better catch by Dickerson. So this time he comes here and completes it to Williams. And Williams has some room on the outside. Tylon Williams is just tripped up, or he might have made a house call. A 25-yard gain on the play for the Tigers. Huge play there by the freshman as he bounces back to the outside with a quick pass from his quarterback. Escapes two defenders there, running down the sideline for the Tigers to get the first down. So Grambling trying to go quickly on offense, but now they're going to have a timeout on the field. Timeout. Panthers are going to stop it. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be right back with PV out in front. Stitch Fix. I'd like to thank my stylist for making me look so amazing. For taking care of the shopping so I can take care of this. It's really convenient. For sending looks that work for me and my budget. For getting my fit just right. Thanks to my stylist, getting dressed is so easy. Because let's get real. I couldn't make this happen on my own. I'd like to thank my stylist for turning me on to new looks. My stylist just gets me. They get me. And me. Me. They'll get you too. Take your style quiz today. Focus. Determination. Drive. Some say we're born with it. Some say it lies within Jennifer's purse at Carousel 3. Liquid IV powder delivers rapid hydration with three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink. To help you play defense against the world's coolest offense. Because real life is extreme enough. Liquid IV. Real hydrating. Now it's sugar-free. If making other lives better was meant to be your life's work, you belong at Chamberlain University. Where we don't just get you, we help get you where you want to go. Because we're all connected by the same calling. For every one of you who has the courage to answer that calling, there are 140,000 of us. At Chamberlain, we lift you up and push you forward with a community unlike any other. Chamberlain University, belong to something greater. Why do I choose a sleep number smart bed? Because when your bed is this smart, you sleep at the right temperature all night. That's why 80% of NFL players choose the sleep number smart bed. Your favorite moments shouldn't be trapped here or here. Shutterfly gets your photos off your phone and into one-of-a-kind wall art, gifts, photo books, and more in just a few clicks. The Grambling Tigers with the football on a move so far. Crawley has hit six different receivers in this game. And Butch, he's been a very efficient passer so far in this first half. 12 for 18 for 133 yards. Now he has a first and 10 with the ball, resting at about the 24-yard line. Crawley looking for the end zone. A beautiful pass deep, and it was oh. almost <laughs> hauled in right there by number 17, Tylan Williams. He actually got his hands yeah. on it, just couldn't hang on. Tough play right there by Williams as Crawley goes up high. Williams gets his hand on it, but the defenders comes in, and the safety from over the top helped as well to be able to draw the ball out for incomplete pass. Yeah, quick look into the end zone, but the pass is ruled incomplete there. Second down now for the Panthers. Crawley going to go to the run, and a fine recovery by that Prairie View defense. And once again, it's number nine, Keyshawn Johnson, Running him out of bounds Chalk after a three-yard gain by Chalk. And, and Butch, he, we saw that the uh, prayer he wanted to regroup defensively. And guess who came in there, number nine, Keyshawn Johnson, their lead tackler, the quarterback of the defense, making plays in space with that tackle there against Chalk. Tenth play of the drive. It started for the Tigers on their own 18-yard line. So this has been a nice drive. We're down to 9.25 to go here in the second quarter. So Crawley doing a Crawley doing a good job of mixing things up. Back to pass again. Throws it underneath, but it's blocked. 
one of the big linemen from Prairie View. Could have been Presley, who got his hands up and knocked that pass down. That's exactly who it was, Butch. Presley Jr., the 6'5 junior out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, gets those big mitts up there, knock down the football, and he said, not in my house, as he waves his finger towards the sideline, motivating his team right now. So we're going to get to see Tanner Rinker again, attempting his third field goal of the game. Tanner Rinker from the 28-yard line. Make it a 39-yard attempt by Rinker, trying to make it three for three in this ball game. And his kick is good. So how about that young man today? Great job. And now it's a 10-9 game. We'll be right back. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School. We're powered by purpose. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the fall in hydration levels. Mm. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish. Doritos created Solid Black in 2021 to help fuel the initiatives of black leaders seeking to change real change. And this year, Doritos Solid Black is welcoming 16 new change makers to the program. We are Solid Black. Talking about dropping the ball. I got the score. To Steve's Hardy Dippers. We are exactly what you think. We are not at all what you think. We are past, present, and future, all in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. General Motors. Honored to sponsor the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the fall in hydration levels. Mm. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish. That last drive by the Grambling Tigers covered 11 plays, 61 yards. They did it in 4 minutes and 11 seconds before Tanner Rinker kicked a 39-yard field goal. So he goes three for three today. That's why he was flexing after the uh... <laughs> Well, I definitely say they ate his Wheaties this morning yeah. before the game. Okay, he's doing a really good job keeping the Tigers in this ball game with three consecutive field goals. I want to say we're 35, 33, and 39 so far. Yeah, excellent, excellent. 35, 33, 39. You're right on the money with that. And for the year, he's now five of six in field goal attempts. So the Grambling Tigers are doing a good job of uh, getting the kicking game in high gear today. But eventually, if you're Coach Hugh Jackson, you want to execute. You want to get in the end zone. He didn't come to Dallas to be able to win this game by field goals. He wants to score touchdowns. So a short kickoff is going to be returned to the 30. That is where the Panthers will go on offense, first and 10. As you see Rinker with the kick there trying to get the onside kick. Yeah, it was a squid kick there by the Tigers trying to catch Preview off guard. Unfortunately, didn't bounce the way that they wanted to go. Give credit to Prairie View. The Panthers was ready for it. They were to get the ball line. secure for their offense. Panthers, David game. Murray from Katy, Texas, on the recovery for the Panthers. With a, does a good job of squeezing that one and giving the ball back over to the PV offense, which is done very, very well so mm -hmm. far today. I've been impressed with PV's offense. I really like Offside. Conley patience in the pocket. In the pocket. Number 48. 48. That five-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. First down, Prairie View. So our third penalty on the kickoff today, <laughs> but the penalty yardage for offsides will be added to the run back. I don't know what it was, Butch, but I, I guess I looked in the crystal ball this week, and I knew that penalties would be an issue for both teams. And, and right now, they're, both teams are suffering. You got Prairie View with their issues on, on some penalties as well as Grambling State. You know, you brought that up during our Prairie conference call because last week, Grambling – 
11 penalties for, I'm excuse me, last week Prairie View was 11 penalties for 85 yards. Yep. So both teams making a lot of penalties. Uh, PB's third possession of the game as they go right back to the running game. John Conley handing off to Caleb Johnson. Johnson Caleb Johnson the on the carry. Line. Excuse me, that's number five, Ahmad Antoine Matthews. on the tote for PB that Thank time, the starter tackle. back in the ball game. It's really good to see Antoine David back in the game. He had a successful first quarter when he got in his line. first touch. He busted Brand down the field to be able to get the Panthers in the red zone. Then he executed with a two- to three-yard run for the touchdown for the Panthers. Gain of two on that last carry. So they go back to Antoine again. And uh, now we have a flag. It's probably going to be holding because it was thrown yeah. in that area. But what I love about Antoine is what Coach said. He said, this guy is so tough. He runs so low and I runs so hard. There's almost a fight every day in practice. <laughs> Offense. Offense. Number 79. 10-yard penalty. Second down. So number 79, the transfer from Morgan State, Allen Jones, the guilty party on the hold. Yeah, it's just unfortunate right now for Prairie View. They're shooting themselves in the foot offensively with their offensive line holding a couple of times they had the other penalty holding in the red zone, which led to another field goal or their first field goal for the made it 10 points in this first half. You know, one thing about this, if it's a close game down the stretch, you know the Panthers are going to feel pretty good. I mean, they've had some magic yeah. down the stretch of all games. I mean, they won that game against TSU in overtime mm -hmm. in the Labor Day Classic earlier this year. And then last week they knocked off Alcorn on the last play of the game <laughs> on a 46-yard field goal. So here's Conley, back to pass. Comes back with a screen the other way and a good recovery by the That's Panthers' the defense. That's Kevin line. Thompson with the big hit after Making a gain of four by Spiller. Excellent job Long there by Thomas. Spiller. He numbered the sophomore out of Lake Charles, Louisiana. Stayed home, was not Our fooled Bradley, there by Kevin Panthers' Thomas. offense was able to bring down a receiver as they went backside to the receiver for that bubble screen. Third down. There's a lot going on on that play, but we have a third and 14 coming up for the PB Panthers in this one. Trazon Conley is another one of those college football players because of COVID has been around a long, long time. So he is on third and long. Conley being chased and oh. dropped in the backfield. He is caught by 95, Javon Carter, with the first sack of the ball game for the Grambling Tigers. You know, being patient in the pocket can hurt you as well. You can see right there as we watch, Carter comes off the right side, beating the tackle, breaking down Conley for the first sack here in the first half for the Tigers' defense. Yeah, that sack was good for a five-yard loss. So that's going to force the Panthers to have to punt it away. It's now a fourth and 19 to go. And we're going to get our first look at Ephraim Jaso on to kick the ball away. Of course, his coach says this guy has an NFL leg. This one, though, kind of a low kick that's not going to really bounce. And it's going to be touched down at around the 47-yard line by the Panthers. So Grambling will take over in excellent field position yep. after a punt of only 28 yards. And if you're Coach Hugh Jackson, you're you're chopping at the bit right now. You're telling your offense, here's an opportunity for us to be able to get back into this game and possibly take the lead. Good field position for the offense. Crawley has to understand that, has to be patient as well. Don't force anything, but take advantage of any opportunities to present himself from this Panthers defense. 48 yard line. 638 to go here in the second quarter. And the Grambling Tigers are getting set to go on offense. First and 10, and they start with excellent field position. Hey, let's take a timeout. We have a timeout on the field. We'll take one in the booth. 10-9 Prairie View. We'll be right back. At Chamberlain University, we believe in running towards challenges, not away from them. We believe that one person can change countless lives. We believe in giving our everything to everyone. Because most of all, we believe in always being there for each other. If you believe in that too, join our community of 140,000 strong and become who you're meant to be. Chamberlain University. Belong to something greater. Stitch Fix. I'd like to thank my stylist for making me look so amazing. For taking care of the shopping so I can take care of this. It's really convenient. For sending looks that work for me and my budget. For getting my fit just right. Thanks to my stylist, getting dressed is so easy. Because let's get real. 
I couldn't make this happen on my own. I'd like to thank my stylist for turning me on to new looks. My stylist just gets me. They get me. And me. Me. They'll get you too. Take your style quiz today. Welcome to Ideation Station. As you write, Grammarly can suggest personalized ideas to kickstart your paper. Definitely this one. Interesting topic. Do you know where you want to take it next? Yes, I can make this topic even more focused. Let Grammarly create a customized research plan so you can get organized. Perfect. 94% of students say Grammarly helps improve their grades. Download Grammarly for free. Only the new Sleep Number Smart Beds let you both sleep at your ideal level of comfort, your Sleep Number setting. And now, all of our new next-gen Smart Beds have temperature benefits. Save $400 on the new Sleep Number C4 Smart Bed, now only $14.99. Sleep next level. Shop now, only at Sleep Number. That should hold it for now. Mm. What should we do? I know what to do. You do? I'm going to CashNetUSA.com. I can apply in minutes, and if a... So far, the showdown here in Dallas at the Cotton Bowl has not disappointed. You can see PB with a 10-9 lead. Some stats to talk about here. Grambling, 2 for 25 in penalty yards. And on the other side, Prairie View, 4 for 35 with penalty yards. But they've been key penalties for Grambling because yeah. both of those penalties, the Tigers, were in the red zone at the time. Yeah, they definitely hurt the Tigers when they're in the red zone, forcing them to go with field goals right here. The reason why they haven't scored a touchdown this first half. So they go back to Chance Williams, who dives forward with a nice gain of six yards on the play by Chance Williams. Now I want to talk about how good the Grambling offense has been in this game so far. They have a 12-play drive that went 71 yards, ended in a field goal. An 11-play drive that went 69 yards, ended with a field goal. And another 11-play drive, 61 yards, and that ended in a field goal. If you're Coach Hugh Jackson and the offensive coordinator, you're frustrated right now because you're executing, moving the ball down the field. But the most important part, you're not getting in the end zone. You can't win a game on a row in this type of class with just field goals only. Second and three, and the pass is incomplete. Crawley was trying to hit number 19, Antonio Jones, and it goes off the hand. So that's going to set up a big third down for the Tigers. But we do have a flag down on the field. And it looks like it's going to be against Ashanti Cole on the offensive line for Grambling. Again, another bonehead play by the offensive line as well as a penalty against the Tigers, which hurts their offense. So that's going to back them up a little bit. Let's see if we can pick it up. It's on 79. We didn't see much going on right there. So third and eight, Crawley rolls to his left, completes to Antonio Jones, and he's shoved out of bounds after he picked up a first down for the Tigers. Call it a gain of 10 on the play. Good job there by Crawley, rolling to his left, keeping his eyes down the field as he finds his receiver just ahead of the chains for the first down for the Tigers. So the Grambling offense has had no problem moving the football today, as we just discussed. And now they're on another drive after they overcame the penalty there on offense. So call it first and 10, 5.17 to go here in the first half. Crawley turns, hands to Chance Williams around the left side. Williams with some room. He's going to have another first down well, for the Tigers. Very close to those sticks. Looks like it might be a gain of nine. Let's see where they put it down. Watch this, Bush. Look at the alley in the lane created by the offensive line. Give credit to the offensive line, creating that running lane for Chance Williams to bounce it to the outside and pick up the first down. Or second down and make it second down and three. Yeah, second down after the gain of nine. So we'll call it a long one and a half, two yards on the play. They're going to call it two, second and two for the first down. This time. Fakes it to Williams, passes over the middle, complete. And that is Antonio Jones again, one of his favorite receivers today, and that will be a gain of 12 yards. Quick slant across the middle there. It looks like the ball Whoa. was dropped, yeah, by Jones there. Jones, like, now you see it. Maybe you don't. <laughs> yes. He did not hang on. No, he did not hang on. Give credit to the cornerback. Did, didn't give up on the play coming in from the backside, swiping the ball out, making it third down. Third and three now for the Tigers. Crawley gives to Williams. Williams picks his way, has a nice hole, and that is a grambling first down as he picks up eight yards on the carry. 
I tell you one thing, Butch, Chance Williams is a very patient runner. Watch this here as he gets the handoff. He's patiently waiting for a lane to open up for the Tigers' offense there. Sneaks through, picks up the three yards for the first down, and continue to move this drive for the Tigers' offense. The Tigers are rolling right now here late in the second quarter. Seven carries for 40 yards for Williams in this game. And, you know, one of the things Coach said about him, he has incredible vision, and we saw it on that play. This time, the give is to Floyd Chalk. And Chuck follows his big Two offensive lineman right and picks up a nice Two gain on first down. Graham is going back Eight to their bread and butter, which is the ground and pound. They want to wear down this Prairie View's offense, I mean, excuse me, defensive line here late in the second quarter. Coming with some fresh legs with floor Chalk on that last play. Chalk last week had 96 Very yards scary. and Maybe two touchdowns against the Texas Prairie Southern View. Tigers. So that running second game down. for Grambling Seven. is always a threat. We mentioned a couple of times. 282 yards rushing last week, and they got it rolling again as we come up to a second and seven, and they give us to Chalk again. He dances his way through the hole, and Chalk's going to have another pickup. Well, Call it a seven-yard gain and a first down on the play for Grambling. <laughs> Chalk, watch this here, Butch, as he, he jukes the defender, cuts back to the inside with a quick move right there to be able to def confuse the defenders, pick up another positive four or five yards for the first down. Yeah, that was Devon, Dewan Lewis right there in the hole, and he just saw him but couldn't quite get there as he made the cut back over the middle. Six carries now for 68 yards for Chalk. So another first and 10 for the Grambling Tigers as they try to cash this drive in for six. And a nice play by the Prairie View defense. First off, it was Derek Ray in the backfield who forced it inside to a bunch of his buddies, minus one on the play, but a good job by that defense from Prairie View. Yeah, Ray standing in the gap there, on, forcing the running back to cut back. Keith Ray, Devin the senior Thomas. out of Richmond, Texas, standing strong there for Prairie View defense line. The stops are Prairie View. Going to call it second and long. Marshall. Second and Looks like it's 11 yards for the first down. Second and 11 to go. Three wide receivers to the left side for Crawley. But he goes the other way to Williams. And Chance is going to be dropped in the backfield. Good tackle from behind by Calvin Presley after a gain of only four yards. Goes with the zone running play back to the short side of the field. The Tigers try to catch the Panthers off guard. You got to give credit to the Panthers. They closed in from their defense to be able to stop Chance. To be able to now make it third down. Good job by that young man. Calvin Presley did a good hustle over there. 6'5", 265-pound junior, a transfer from Villanova. You know, last week, six tackles with one tackle for loss in the game versus Alcorn. So now this time, excuse me, the game versus TSU. No, it was Alcorn. I'm yeah. sorry, man. It was Alcorn. They're going to take a timeout on the field. We're going to take a timeout to regroup in the booth. And as you can see, quite the shootout going on here. 10-9. Prairie View out in front. When I started college, so many people warned me about credit cards. They just seemed really scary. When I needed a car, I realized that I needed to build credit. So I got the Chime Credit Builder card because I could safely build credit without being afraid of fees or interest. And there was no credit check. My score went up over 60 points and I bought my first car. As a busy college student, having a car is an absolute must. I feel like I could do anything. <laughs> my next goal, a 700 credit score. Join me at Chime.com. I just made this and it is incredible. I used every plate and this cost me about the same as a cup of coffee. I'm gonna show you how. So every plate's actually 25% cheaper than grocery shopping, which is awesome, because that means I can save money on food even as food prices go up. And then I love the fact I don't have to worry about overbuying, wasting food, none of that. This is way better than takeout. I knew you get so much more bang for your buck. Seriously, you gotta try it. Mm -hmm. Get started for just $1.49 a meal using offer code EAT49. Hair shedding, that's parenthood for you. My job got bigger, my hair got thinner. Aging, I see it in my hair. Support visibly thicker hair through life's changes with Nutrafol, the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement brand. Start your hair growth journey at Nutrafol.com. 
Hunger Root is here and I needed it because my fridge is super empty. I'm gonna open the box. That's the exciting part. Hungry Root came through. And my refrigerator is packed. Welcome back, everyone. 10-9, as you can see, Three the Prairie View Panthers leading the Grambling Tigers, but the Tigers the are on the move. Yard line. Ball Turn resting on the 13-yard line. Crawley, the transfer from Alabama State, set to pass, fires into the end zone, there and it it's a touchdown. A beautiful pass to Lyndon Rash, who uh, hauled Crawley it in for the touchdown, 12 yards on the TD. Three. Grambling. Excellent job there by the offensive line out of the time timeout giving the protection to give Crawley the opportunity to find Rash for the first touchdown for Grambling State here in the first half. Lyndon Rash, the leading Rash. receiver from last season Thank for the Tigers, the coming up with a big Tigers. play right there. You know, he's one of those big athletic wide receivers who can make plays. He can run the routes and still has a big body to make the big catches. So that will bring on Raker this time for an extra point to add to his three field goals. And his extra point is good, and the Grambling Tigers back out in front, 16-10. Let's take a look at that touchdown again. Crawley to Rash. First start with the offensive line. Look at the blocking up front, giving Crawley the pocket to be able to stand tall and be wait and wait patiently for Rash to come out of his break to be able to find him in the end zone for the touchdown reception. Give credit to Hugh Jackson and offensive coordinator sticking with their game plan. Despite giving up you know, not scoring early on in this first half. They score right before halftime, which is going to help their confidence in the second half. Let's take a look at the preseason poll in the SWAC, and that's very interesting because you can see on the West. Let's start there because that's what we're talking about here today. And you can see Texas Southern predicted to be third, Grambling fourth, and Prairie View fifth. But right now, those same two teams are <laughs> leading the yeah. West right now. Yeah, and it's a shootout right now in the West. Both teams are coming in fighting each other for the top spot in the West Division. Right now, Prairie View and Grambling State going head-to-head -head with Grambling scoring to be able to take the lead and the momentum into halftime with less than two minutes to go in the second quarter. Prairie View with the 2-0 SWAC record right now. The Grambling Tigers 1-0. As we take a look here, Tigers undefeated 1-0. That last scoring drive, and on the east side, you can see Florida a and and they have been as advertised. I mean, they've been very good behind Jeremy Musa at quarterback. Here, yeah, Florida a and you know what you're going to get each and every year. They're a team that is offensively loaded, and they're going to come out and score a lot of points, as we saw on that screen there in the graphics, 116 points so far in this season. Okay, the last scoring drive by the Tigers, well, they didn't hit 61 yards again, but it's 11 <laughs> plays, 52 yards, took them 520 before that 12-yard TD strike to Lyndon Rash, and here come the Panthers on the return, and it's Brian Jenkins Jr. down the sidelines with a 20, make it a 31-yard return of the on the kickoff. So good job by Brian Jenkins. Special teams have been so far so good for the Panthers here in this first half. Another decent return back for the Panthers to help their offense, which led them to their first touchdown in the first quarter. Breaking tackles here. Setting up the blocks there, the Panthers be able to be able to use this momentum. Hopefully their offense can feed off of it and get some quick points before halftime. Check that. It was Connor Wisham on the return, on that big return for the Panthers to put them in great field position with what appears to be 109 to go here in the second quarter. You know, there was some problems with the scoreboard earlier in this game, but I think that's been worked out. So first and ten for the Panthers. Conley with a pass complete for a first down to number six, Jaquan Bloomfield. Call it good for 14 yards on the completion for a first down. And, Butch, if you're Conley and you're the Panthers offense, you got to watch clock management right now with less than a minute to go here in this second quarter. Conley looking deep, has a man wide open and a nice grab right there by his wide receiver. What a play. 33-yard gain. And it's Trey John Spiller on the other end. The play action rollout to the left helped to open up that play there for the receiver to get behind the defender into the red zone 
for the Panthers. Yeah, Spiller has been their go-to guy this year, and boy, what a move there. Beautiful pass on the play by Conley. We also have an injury on the field right now, and that would be number 96, Marquia Sykes who's down for grambling, and the way they're stretching his legs, like, we're not going to try to act like we're doctors, but <laughs> that's usually what they do when it's yeah. cramps, when they're working out the cramps. You can definitely tell they're working out that calf muscle there, his left calf. Hopefully he's okay and get out the field. But you got to give credit to Bubba McDowell and the offensive coordinator and the Panthers, man. With clock management, they're moving the ball efficiently down the field, right into the red zone before halftime. They're going to try to threaten and probably put up some points and get this lead back here going into halftime to try to steal this momentum too as well. So what a big play. Conley right on the money on that pass to Spiller. And Spiller's had some big receptions, of course, for this team this year. Of course, he had the big touchdown in the Labor Day Classic that sent that game into overtime. And here he is with another down, big play again the for the Panthers. Panthers first and goal. Panthers first and goal now with 53 53 seconds to go here in the second quarter. And the carry by Conley takes it down to about the three-yard line. Again, a three for Conley. Again, Butch, clock management is key for Conley, the senior. he got to keep his eye on the clock now with less than a minute to go before halftime. You want to be able to manage the clock and get into the end zone. Yeah, and another run play going up the middle. And, of course, on the sidelines, they said that energy for Grambling is a lot higher right now. It seems like the Tigers are really pumped up down there on the field. We can see it on the field right now with Carter. He's pumped up, number 95. Another timeout there taken, but the Grambling State Tigers, the energy from the sideline is transitioning on the field. The defense is pumped up, and they have this momentum right now late in the second quarter. A timeout called by the Prairie View Panthers with just 25 ticks to go here in the first half with the Grambling Tigers out in front 16 to 10. But Prairie View trying to punch it in right before the half. Let's take a look now at the upcoming schedule for Prairie View A&M. You see on October 7th is down to Mississippi Valley State. Then a visit to Houston Christian. And then the big one at Florida A&M. Prairie View versus Florida A&M. That's going to be a big one. And they finished out with Arkansas Pine Bluff at Southern and with Alabama State. Yeah, the game that jumps out to me the most, which you just mentioned, the October 28th game against Florida A&M at Florida A&M in Tallahassee. That's a tough play to play. I know exactly how, how tough that place is playing at Howard University going down to Tallahassee. But, you know, Prairie View A&M got their hands full here so far in this game. Connolly, third and five, looking in the end zone, under pressure, throws it high, and it's going to be an incomplete pass. A lot of pressure on Connolly in the backfield. Conley's try to stand tall in the pocket. Good coverage there by the Tigers being able to force them to throw the ball in the back of the end zone. That was more hardy there on the pressure. Number 98, Jaden Hardy with the pressure. And now it's going to be another field goal attempt this time by Via Gomez for the Panthers. This one comes from 22 yards away. Carlos Villa Gomez, your kicker. It's down, oh. and he hooked it left. It's going to be wide left, and that's a big break for the Grambling Tigers as Villa Gomez comes up empty on the field goal attempt from 22 yards with 12 seconds to go here in the first half. Yeah, missed opportunity there by the sophomore Gomez. You can see it just slightly goes to the left side there for the Panthers. Watch Grambling State pumps up and excited. Right? <laughs> Graham is so excited right there with the missed opportunity with the momentum here right before halftime. Yeah, we got that report from the sideline. They yeah. say how fired up the Grambling Tigers are down on the sideline, and you saw a little bit of it right there <laughs> after that defense would bend but not break. And you're going to see the Tigers take, take over right now, and they're just going to sit on the football, take a knee, and they will go to the locker room with a 16-10 to 10 lead. Excellent first half, exciting. I can't wait for the second. Both teams coming out with a bunch of offensive weapons, but Grambling still in the lead as well as the momentum before halftime. Give credit to Hugh Jackson and his offensive that staff. 16 to 10, the Grambling Tigers out in front. We'll pause now for a break and be back with your halftime report in just a minute.
I'm Andrea, and this is why I switched to Shopify. It gave me so much peace of mind. If we make a change, my site's not going to go down. And just knowing that I have a platform that we can rely on, that is gold to us. Start your free trial today. Let me be direct. Some people are paying more than double for teeth straightening with Invisalign. And then there's Smile Direct Club. You get a smile you love directed by one of their doctors with a liner sent directly to you. So the savings go directly to you. 60% less than Invisalign. And Smile Direct Club guarantees your smile for life. Your life. Choose smile, choose direct. Smile Direct Club. Smile Direct Club. Love that song. Critics everywhere agree the creator is the best film of the year. Joshua, take care of her. It's visually stunning and a cinematic masterpiece. I promise to keep us safe. See this film on the biggest screen possible. The creator, Rated PG-13, now playing. The Orquistas Dance Company at Grand Lake State University is very unique. Trying out every week is nerve-breaking. If you're not putting in any work, you won't switch that field. You always remember, this is why I dance. This is going to sound strange. I've been pulled through time. You just disappeared. I can't keep looking at it because it's horrible. It's up to us to save this place. You've got about an hour. You've got about five minutes. You better run! Loki, come on! Absolutely not. Loki Season 2, streaming October 5th, only on Disney+. Plus. Back in 94, game day was coming to Lincoln. I wanted to give my buddy Art a shout out. So I devised an elaborate plan. I made a sign. And I changed the world forever. The Little League World Series champions! Chris Vaughn telling his son that he was being drafted. You want to come to work with me next week? Makes it so magical. Deuce, where legends are born and every match is a spectacle a celebration like no other for the love of football for the love of La Liga from the intensity of the pitch to the beauty of the Tiki Taka from city rivals to El Clasico Here's where legends are born. And every match is a spectacle. A celebration like no other. For the love of football. For the love. Welcome back to the Cotton Bowl, everyone, where the Grambling Tigers are leading the Panthers from Prairie View A&M 16 to 10. We are at the half and what an exciting first half it was here in the State Fair Classic. Excellent game so far in the, from the first half. Can't wait for the second half. Both teams are warming up offensively. Can't see how, I can't wait to see how it plays out and it goes down to the wire. Now is the time you've been waiting for, Lemon. I've been having trouble keeping him in his seats. Time for the world famed Tiger Marching Band to perform here at the State Fair Classic. Give you my heart. 
That was your world-famed Tiger Marching Band. We're going to pause for a quick timeout, and we'll be right back with more of our halftime show, 1610 Grambling out in front. Free in. Didn't know about Kizik? It's 2023. Step into the times with no time, no pulling, and no heel crushing. Kizik's go on like magic, and the comfort? It's crazy. Over 60,000 five star reviews, free shipping, free returns, and a 30 day money back guarantee. With so many styles and colors, which will you choose? Your Kizik's are waiting for you. Take 15% off your first order. Kizik.com slash TV. Factor provides balanced eating made simple. They provide a new menu every week with delicious, nutritious meals. It's so convenient. It's just delivered right to your door. The meals can be heated in the oven or microwave in minutes. You choose your meals based off your taste preferences, dietary restrictions, and meal history. So not only we love what you get, but you can also stay fit easily. So easy, simple, and nutritious. This is so good. This Visit factormeals.com slash 50 and use code 50 for 50% off. I can never remember how to perfectly format my citations. Just click get citation and you'll have a full citation ready to copy. Always formatted perfectly. Perfect. I can even show I used Grammarly for paraphrasing. Use AI tools without compromising your integrity. Wow. That was fast. This thesis is solid. 94% of students say Grammarly helps improve their grades. Download Grammarly for free. Never tried false lashes? Afraid of the glue? The game changer has arrived. New Impress Press-On Falsies are here. No glue needed thanks to breakthrough self-stick technology. No mistakes. Just press on and go. Now everyone can lash. Get yours today at impressfalsies.com. The trio is back. Better than ever. With so much more fun. More mischief. All of this and so much more with the Disney Bundle. From the intensity of the pitch to the beauty of the Tiki Taka. From city rivals to El Clasico. Here's where legends are born. And every match is a spectacle. A celebration like no other. For the love of football. For the love of La Liga. On October 5th, I've been hauled through time between the past, present, and the future. Loki returns. Great. And around, and around we go. All right. Again. Loki season two. The Little League World Series champions! Chris Vaughn telling his son that he was being drafted. You want to come to work with me next week? Makes it so magical. Deuce Vaughn in the end zone. <laughs> 16 10, the Grambling Tigers out in front at the half, leading the Prairie View Panthers. And an exciting first half. We'll have more of that in just a minute. But first, some swack news and notes presented by GM. How about the formal naming of the Dr. James Frank Building coming up in Birmingham, Alabama? It'll take place during the week of the 82nd Annual Magic City Classic on Thursday, October 26th from 3 to 4 in the afternoon. Elsewhere in the soccer weekly honors, the SWAC has named Grambling's Carlin Judge, Kalen Jenkins, and Madison Kobe Taylor for SWAC soccer honors this week for their outstanding performances. And then how about some swag volleyball? They've named Alabama State's Jalen Witten, Tempra Chapman, and Madison Beasley, along with Florida A&M's Camila De La Rosa for swag volleyball weekly honors. Congratulations to all. That is presented by GM. Let's check out our scoreboard today. You know, our game kicked off last, so what do you think about these scores, Lemont? Texas Southern with a big homecoming win over Lincoln. Alabama A&M knocking off Tuskegee, 58-3. And then you have Arkansas Flying Bluff getting shut out by Southern. Big win right there for 
the Southern Jaguars. Yeah, what I'm seeing so far, the early games, blowouts, Texas Southern getting their first victory this season with the homecoming, Alabama and AM. Florida AM right now at half, 10 to 7, but you got Alcorn State and Alabama State in the tie in the close game in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a close game that is. Going right down to the wire, 920 to go. And here's what's coming up. On October 7th, we got Bethune Cookman at Alabama State. The Grambling Tigers taking on Alcorn State. Then on October 7th, how about Jackson State going to Alabama AM? That's on ESPN also. And then you got Florida AM Southern. That may be the yeah, best one on the board right there. And then they finish off with Mississippi Valley and Prairie View. Yeah, I can't wait to see the game next week, especially with Florida AM versus Southern in Baton Rouge, a tough environment for the Rattlers to be able to go on the road to play against a West Division team. Southern's a very tough team, especially at home. Do you know what time is it? What time what? is it? It's time to see the <laughs> PB Marching Storm as they perform at the halftime of the State Fair Classic. Halftime presented by Pepsi. The Marching Storm is drilling too. Cut up. I got one little show. Let me see.
And that was the Marching Storm, our halftime performance presented by Pepsi. We're going to pause for another timeout and be back with more of our halftime show. 16-10, Tigers are leading the Panthers. Honestly, guys, I used to never wear underwear. Skims changed that. Our Fits Everybody underwear is made from this buttery soft fabric that stretches out and bounces right back. It just molds to your body like you're wearing nothing at all. This is Skims. by day, student by night, student by day, baker by night, PT by dawn, dean's list by dusk, crushing classwork online during the morning rush, always powered by Penn State World Campus. Since 1998, we've led the charge in online education, offering access to more than 175 in-demand programs taught by our expert faculty. Penn State World Campus delivers on your time. I should hold it for now. Hmm. What should we do? I know what to do. You do? I'm going to cashnetusa.com. I can apply in minutes, and if approved, we can have the money in our account as soon as the same business day. You're my hero. Saving the day is easy with Cashnet USA. When you need money fast, be the hero. Go to cashnetusa.com to apply for the money you need now. We started Ernesta because I have had decades of bad experiences buying rugs. There are standard size store-bought rugs that don't fit your space and they don't look great in your home. And then on the other side, you have custom-cut designer rugs, but often the price points were just inaccessible to most people. We believe Ernesta can get you that beautiful design, custom-cut, high-quality rug at a speed and an affordability that we think is going to work for you. The Omaha Steaks semi-annual sale is back. Right now, you'll save 50% site-wide on America's best steaks, chicken, burgers, and so much more. All backed by our 100% guarantee that you'll love every bite. Never tried Omaha Steaks? Save an extra $30 with promo code FIRSTTIME. Visit omahasteaks.com slash TV today and sink your teeth into big savings on the quality you deserve. <laughs> your favorite moments shouldn't be trapped here or here. Shutterfly gets your photos off your phone and into one-of-a-kind wall art, gifts, photo books, and more in just a few clicks. All covered by our 100% happiness guarantee. Your memories deserve better. Your memories deserve Shutterfly. Get your photos off your phone and get 40% off everything with code TV40. Welcome back, everyone. It is the 37th meeting between Grambling and Prairie View in the State Fair Classic. And right now, Grambling has the lead at the half, 16 to 10. But we've seen some offense in this game, and there's nothing more evident of that than the fact that the Panthers have had the ball four times, had two scores. Grambling has had it four times, 
and they've had four scores, so a lot of offense in the first half of this game. Yeah, but it's a very entertaining first half for both teams, offensively moving the ball down the field. You got to give credit to Grambling State, though. They was able to find a way to score that late touchdown in the second quarter. It's still the momentum before halftime. Okay, close ball game. Let's take a look at the stats and see how we got there. As you can see right there, rushing appears to be the big difference, and right now it favors the Grambling Tigers. Yeah, Grambling showing a balanced attack right there in the first half with a total of 254 yards. Offensively, they were able to rush for 100 and throw for 151. If you're prayer view, you got to step up running the football. They're a team that likes to run the ball. you got to be able to in insert that running game in the second half. And because the rushing is so much tilted toward the Grambling Tigers, look at the time of possession. Yes, sir. 18 and almost 18 and a half minutes for Grambling compared to only 11, 38 for Prairie View. Yeah, time of possession is one of the keys to victory for both teams. Who's going to control the clock here in Dallas? Well, so far, Grambling State is doing an excellent job with controlling the clock with 18 minutes. But we did have Villa Gomez missing a 22-yarder at the end of the first half. So this ball game could have even been a lot closer. Yeah, a missed opportunity there for Prayer to kind of get back into the game with that late field goal. Miss with that kick to the left side there. If you're Coach Bubba McDowell, you got to find a way to motivate the troops and get them back into this game offensively and get their mind ready for this second half. We're getting set for the kickoff here in the second half. State Fair Classic is always a classic, and this one is definitely living up to the billing in this one. As you can see, we have 16-10. The Grambling Tigers are out in front as we get set for that second half kickoff. Give me some of your impressions of the first half. What stuck out to you? Well, what really stuck out to me, starting with Grambling State, when they were to move the ball down the field, they utilized their passing game to help them open up their running game. Normally they go vice versa, but... Coach Hugh Jackson implemented the passing game, spreading out the Panthers' defense and utilizing that passing game to help their running game. And, and if you're a coach uh, Bubba McDowell, you got to get more out of your senior quarterback and Conley be able to be able to produce the ball and throw it downfield. So this one picked up by Wisham again. And Wisham with another big return. This one good for 32 yards. Connor Wisham setting up the PB Panthers in great field position. Well, you know, Wisham is doing a good job continuing to be able to run the ball down the field on special teams, getting the Panthers in excellent field position for the offense. So PB coming back out. As I mentioned, they had the ball four times, scored on two of those four possessions. As they get set, what are you talking about Grambling? What do you think Coach Hugh Jackson was saying to his ball club with the lead at the half? you got to like his mindset as far as being able to continue to attack the Panthers' defense if you're Coach Jackson. If you want to continue to do that offensively, defensively, you got to force some turnovers. Put Conley in some unfamiliar positions here defensively for the Tigers. Conley trying to get away, but he is dropped in the backfield and sacked. Second sack of the ball game for the Tigers, and that is Javon Carter again. This one from minus six. And that's how you set the tone here in the second half. Carter be able to come in from the outside with the sack on Connolly as the Tigers continue to be pumped up defensively. Number nine also helping out in the vicinity. That's Sonny Anderson, who is, of course, and we do. Let me pause for a second because we do have a flag down on the field. So that too many players on the field. Preview 46 yard line. So that's going to wipe away the big sack by the Grambling defense. Miss opportunity downs, there, five. miss cue there for the Grambling State Tigers. So they come up back to the run, go straight ahead to Ahmad, right there, Ahmad Antoine, as he carries the football, and he is one tough runner, picked up four on that tote. And we talked about Prairie View having only 62 rushing yards in the first half. Well, it was the majority of Antoine. you got to get him back into the game, uh, Butch, in my opinion, in order for Prairie View to get this lead back and continue to try to win this or win here with this winning streak, making it six years in a row. So now a big down coming up here for the Panthers. Should be second down. Pass by Conley near the sideline. It is complete to Bloomfield, and that will be a 10-yard gain and a first down for the PB offense. Play action pass there, going to the outside to the receiver. Good effort there by the receiver to get off the first defender, lean back, be able to pick up some more yards. Bloomfield came into the game with one touchdown on the year. Over 100 yards receiving now for that young man. He's caught three tonight for 36 yards, and now it's first and 10 for the Panthers. 
Conley with the fake, but we have a whistle. Couldn't quite get it off before the whistle. Must be false start against Prairie View. False start. Offense. Number 89. Five yards. One, two. First down. Why in Myers with the call right there, and you talked about it early in the first half. Penalties, penalties, penalties yeah. have actually hurt both teams. Yeah, and, and it has. And if you're prepared, you've got to minimize your penalties here in the second half. You cannot continue to shoot yourself in the foot to find a way to get back into this game. So offensively now, that will make it a first and 15 for the Panthers. Conley's gone all the way today. Back to throw it again. Has to step up in the pocket. Nice spin move by Conley. Didn't pick up much, but a pretty move anyway. Three-yard gain on the play. He's showing, some, he's showing his athleticism on his play. Conley steps up in the pocket, spins away from the defender. Good to pick up some positive yards. Not enough yards, but some positive yards to help his offense. Picked up a couple. Let's call it second and 13 to go for the Panthers. Ball resting on the 42-yard line. And the go to the running game again. That is Antoine being very patient and working his way for a seven-yard game. Preview goes with a running play here, a zone replay, bounces to the outside. Give the ball to Antoine. Antoine, their top rush of the season. Now making it third and six. Yeah, you know, his nickname is Double A. But, but I think he's got a little more energy than yeah. just that Double A battery there. Uh, Antoine, of course, the 5'10", 185-pound senior from New Orleans. Six carries tonight for 52 yards and a touchdown. Conley Gotta in the pocket, trying to get out of it. He does. Looking downfield. Throws it, has two receivers there, and no one came that's down with the catch. The so that's one of the things you say. You never have two receivers in the same spot, but no. Brian Jenkins Jr. was there, and nobody got that one. Yeah, Colin trying his best to extend the play with his legs. And you have two receivers in the same location. Miscue there for some reason between the receivers of communication. Miss opportunity as well. I just people Bubba McDowell is now going for it on fourth down. Yeah, you know, he was trying to throw that to Jenkins. But instead, Bloomfield came over, didn't see Jenkins, and they ran into each other. So now a big fourth down, and they're going to go for it because it would have been a 53-yard field goal. So call it fourth and six to go for the Panthers. Conley with a good pocket. Fires a strike, and it's incomplete. Was trying to hit Bloomfield again with that one, a little off target. And that will turn over the possession back to the Grambling Tigers. Yeah, Butch, in my opinion, I felt like Conley rushed that pass there trying to go to Bloomfield on the comeback route for the first down. Threw it a little behind him. Turnover downs. Give credit to Grambling State's defense. Bending but not breaking there at the halftime. 16-10, Tigers in front. We'll be right back. Every year. Thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the fall in hydration levels. Mm. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish. We are exactly what you think. We are not at all what you think. We are past, present, and future. All in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. General Motors, honored to sponsor the Southwestern Athletic Conference. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization upgrades at the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool your school. We're powered by purpose. When you join the HBCU family, you become part of the tradition of breaking barriers in your community, breaking ground in your career, and bringing it with everything you From how you look to how you move in the classroom, on the court and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those to add to it.
Then away. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the fall in hydration levels. Mm. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish. We are back at the Cotton Bowl with the Grambling Tigers leading 16-10 over the Prairie View Panthers, who just went for it on fourth down and did not convert. So Grambling takes over at the 35-yard line. Tigers changing formation here. They will now have the three wide out group to the left. Miles Crawley still at quarterback for Grambling. Crawley turns, and he hands to Williams. And a nice hole for Williams, but then the defense recovered. That's Keyshawn Johnson, who's been big for the Panthers tonight, a, a three-yard gain on the play. Yeah, smart play there by Keyshawn Johnson, playing the middle linebacker position, was not fooled at all by the change of direction and the formation by Grambling State. Closing in, one of the top. That's not good news. That's not good at all. Not good news for the Grambling Tigers. That's Chance Williams. Yeah, it looks And like we do have a flag down also, but it looked like it might have been a shoulder flags. injury. Defense. So the 15 yard penalty added to the end of the run. Automatic, automatic first down. The face mask penalty was called against the defense, and Williams goes off with the injury. So I wonder if, that, if he was hurt on that play. Well, well, we'll see. I mean, we didn't get a chance to see the replay there. But, yeah, the fact that we saw Chance Williams Butch going to the sideline looks like his right leg is not a good sign for the Grambling State Tigers offense. So Floyd Chalk checks into the ball game. Crawley the pass it, though, looking deep down the sideline, and there is no receiver at home right there. So a uh, misdirection right there. Let's take another look now yes, at sir. that face mask. Bill. Watch here. Chance Williams stood up there. It's tough to see it from that angle there on the replay. Another angle here. As Chase is stood up there by Keyshawn Johnson. It's been backwards. Looks like it was called for face mask, but he had his hands up by his shoulder pass close to the face mask. So maybe the officials just thought it was a face mask. Second and ten now for the Tigers. They go back to the run. It's Chalk trying to get away, and that's, man, Keyshawn Johnson <laughs> is you. right there again. Keyshawn Johnson make it a minus one on that run, but Johnson has been everywhere for the Panthers. Oh, man, he's outstanding. A high-motor type of guy, and he's an emotional leader also, as well for the Prairie View Panthers defense, closing in, making tackles in space. Look at him. Got to love his effort. You got to love his energy right now for Prairie View if you want to get back into this game. Well, he's playing hard. Keyshawn Johnson, a six foot, 230 pound graduate student. He transferred in from Louisiana Monroe. We mentioned he came into the ball game as the leading tackler for Grambling and now leading tackler for Prairie View. Now, Grambling is set with a third and 12 to continue the drop. Crawley looking way downfield. Has a man out there, and the pass is almost oh. caught. Let's see what the officials pass say because. Antonio Jones had it when he hit the ground, and as soon as he hit the ground, it popped out. Yeah, but you have to control the ball all the way down to the ground and be able to get up with it. And watch this replay here as Crawley goes deep, taking a shot against Prairie View Panthers secondary. Man-to-man -man coverage. Jones goes up. Excellent job catching the ball with one hand with his helmet. Unfortunately, he could not control the football as he lost it as he hit the ground. Watch this. Man-to-man -man oh, coverage going high running. with the left hand. <laughs> keeping it on against his helmet, but didn't have control of the football. Incomplete pass. Give Ahmad Robinson a lot of credit on the co coverage. Great job to transfer from Arkansas State. So the Tigers will kick it away. That is Jimmy Isles. And what a long kick by Jimmy Isles. Way down there is through the end zone. A 48-yard punt by Jimmy Isles. So that's how you flip the field. Yeah. Special teams have to help out, especially in the second half. Your grand mistake to be able to keep this lead in momentum. So the Tigers. Jimmy Isles punt sails into the end zone. With a great punt from Jimmy Isles right there. So Prairie View will get another attack, another attempt here in the second half with the football. If you're just joining us, it's a 16-10 lead. The Grambling Tigers had three field goals early, and then they finally punched it in for a touchdown. It's a touchdown pass to Lyndon Rash. For the Tigers, but here comes Trazon Conley and the Panthers. Three receivers to his right, but he goes to Ahmad Antoine, and he is thrown back. Sonny Anderson for the Grambling Tigers was right there to meet him. 
Yeah, Anderson is doing a really good job. The senior out of College Park, Georgia, he's closing down the running lanes, but he's executing being able to bring down the running back each and every time in Antoine. So you got to give credit to the front four right now for Grambling State Tigers. Loss of a yard on the play. Call it second and 11. Conley to throw again. Looking down the left side, has a receiver, and he just overshot him just a little bit. Was trying to hit Bloomfield down the sideline, but good coverage over there by the Tigers. That's a hard pass to make there and a catch as well. When you have the safety helping over top, giving some extra help to the cornerback, give credit to the secondary as well as the defensive coordinator for the Graham State Tigers helping out the safety, I mean the cornerback in the man-to-man -man coverage. 19-yard line. So Conley has been a little off the mark on his last three passes as he enters this big third and 11 down right here to try to keep the sticks moving. We saw some long drives in the first half, not so much here in the second half. Third and 11 for the Panthers. Conley steps up, fires a strike, and it's dropped. He had Brian Jenkins Jr. with the ball, but he could not hang on as a good defensive play. By the, paint, by the Tigers. And Conley steps up in the pocket. Excellent job by the protection by the old lineman. Threw it a little behind him. Defender was able to be able to recover, get his hands up there and be able to try to defend. Watch this here. As the defender gets there, put his hands up, kind of throws all the concentration right there for Jenkins Jr. for the incomplete pass. Quentin Talley on the coverage. Did a good job. As you mentioned, that pass a little bit behind Brian Jenkins. He reached back, couldn't quite hang on to it. So the Panthers... We'll punt it back to the Tigers. And the ball's going to roll out of bounds at about the 41-yard line. So call it a 40-yard punt by Jaso for the Panthers. So the Tigers take over the football. So what do you think has been the difference in the second half with the two defenses? Because in the first half, they moved the ball up and down the field almost at will. So there were some adjustments made at halftime. Absolutely. And starting with Gramlin State, I really believe their front four is doing a better job shutting down the running lanes and stopping the run at the point of attack. If you're Prairie View, you got to find a way to extend your offensive drives. Three and out is not going to cut it and allow you to get back into the game. Offensively for Gramlin State, they're doing a better job to be able to try to continue to keep this momentum going. i got to see more from their running game as well. Tigers on offense, first and 10. 9.33 to go in the quarter. Pass is complete to Jones, and Jones still on his feet, trying to make something out of nothing there. Jones is going to end up with five yards. You know the Grambling, in the span of one year, has turned over their roster. 76% of their roster is new. Wow. That, that is the year of the portal, as we do have an injured player down on the field. It looks like it's number nine. I can't really see the complete jersey. While they attend to the injured player, we will Time take out. a timeout here in the booth. We'll be back with more football action at the State Fair Classic with the Grambling Tigers out in front, 16 to 10. Hey, look at you. Floors by day, student by night. Student by day, baker by night. PT by dawn, dean's list by dusk. Crushing classwork online during the morning rush. Always powered by Penn State World Campus. Since 1998, we've led the charge in online education, offering access to more than 175 in-demand programs taught by our expert faculty. Penn State World Campus delivers on your time. It's hard to run a business on your own. With Shopify, you have everything you need to bring your dream business to life. Because when we work together, the future is bright. Start your journey with a free trial today. My new boyfriend. So sweet. Look what he just sent me. Ooh, that's a lovely view. Huh? <laughs> what are you two looking at? Tip pick. What did you say? Tip pick. 
tickets to the show with no hidden fees. <laughs> TickPick, the only major no-fee ticket site with the same seats at better prices. No, not now. Uh, yeah, dude, that doesn't look good. I know what to do. What's that? I'm going to castnetusa.com. I can apply minutes and if approved... Welcome back, everyone. We have 9.14 to go here in the third quarter with the Grambling Tigers still leading the Prairie View Panthers 16-10. And they're getting set to Ready, take over the football with the Grambling second with the down the and six line. to go for the Grambling Tigers. Second down, six. You know, Grambling came into this game with the number one rushing team in the SWAC. Prairie View had the number two rushing team, but we're seeing a lot more passing yeah. coming from these two teams tonight. Yeah, you know, Grand Will State established a pass game, which helped their running game in the first half. And that's Williams on the carry. And Williams is only going to get about two yards before he's pushed back. And it's actually good to see Williams back in the game. He got hurt early on. He was kind of concerned for that, but it's good to see him back in the game. So third and four coming up now for the Panthers. And that is Williams again heading toward the sideline as he checks out on the third down. Big down for the uh, Tigers if they want to keep this thing going here in the third quarter as the time clicks down to 8.40 to go here in the third quarter. So Miles Crawley gives straight ahead and the mm. running attack from Floyd Chalk running here. extremely hard, but there is a flag down. But what a nice run by Chalk. He had the first down, eight yards on the play, but we'll see what the flag is. Yeah, I believe it's going against Grambling State. It's going to negate the running effort there by Floyd Chalk. which again will be something hurting Grambling with these penalties. There were two fouls on the play, one against each team. Personal foul, hands to the face, defense, number 44. Personal foul, offense, number 71. Fouls up, sir. We play second down. So nothing harm, no harm there. They're going to redo it. Let's check out the top left of the screen. There's Priestley, number 71. Priestley comes down on the linebacker trying to get to the second level. I guess the extra, extra effort there is late at the end of the play, throwing the player down. for the. the but he, drew, he had a couple of flags earlier in the game. So once you get in that space, it's kind of hard for the officials not to watch it throughout the game going forward. So four yards for the first down. Looks like it's going to be a second down. Crawley looking deep down the sideline. His ball was right there, and a nice job by Antonio Jones trying to go up and get it, but good defense by the Panthers. Goes down as an incomplete pass. Excellent man-to-man -man coverage there by Mod Robertson, the sophomore, number six, not giving up on the play, being able to close in in that man-to-man -man coverage to help his defense. Now, that was a third down play, so it's going to bring up fourth down for the Grambling Tigers as Ahmad Robinson, great defense on the play by the transfer from Arkansas State. But now the Tigers with Jimmy Isles, who's ranked fourth in the SWAC in punting, averaging 43 yards a kick, and he had a little pressure that time, but, boy, he got his foot into it. Nice high kick. Takes a Grambling bounce, and then it dies, and it's going to be down right there around the 16-yard line. Punt is good for 37 yards. As we check out the SWAC scoreboard now, brought to you tonight by Pepsi. A big win for Texas Southern, 52-7. And as you can see, the update at the bottom is in the fourth quarter. Florida A&M leading Mississippi Valley State 17-7. They're about to start the fourth quarter in that one. How about the Delta Devils in that ball game? That, yeah. That's going to surprise some people. Absolutely. At home, playing a very tough game, being competitive against Florida a and But look at Alcorn State sneaking that win on the road against Alabama State. Big win by Alcorn, 23-20 in that one after they lost last week to Prairie View on that last second field goal. So that is just life in the swag <laughs> where on any given day, yeah. you never know what's going to happen. So a short run up the middle right there. Nice play by Sonny Anderson. He's going to pick up three yards on the carry before oh, yeah, Anderson the made the stop. Runner down. Caleb Johnson. 
stopped at the... As the Prairie View offense regroups and gets set to go to work. Second down and about six. Call it a, call it a long six, a seven yards for another first down. Conley has gone all the way tonight. Now we have a whistle before they can get the snap away. Timeout. Prairie View. Their first of the half. So Coach Bubba McDowell, the head coach of the Prairie View Panthers, calls timeout. Here we are with 721 to go in the third quarter. And let's take a look at the series history here. Last matchup, October 1st, 2022. And you can see that shouldn't be right as the series history in the State Fair Classic because we know Prairie View has won the last five matchups. Yeah, this is actually from last year. And you can see the unbalance of Grambling State, which they brought balance to this game this year, rushing for 233 yards and 56 passing. So that was the last matchup, October 1st, 2022. Prairie View with the ball. So Prairie View has the football now. At the 21-yard line. Second and Second six down. to Eight. go for the Panthers. Conley to throw it. Over the middle has a man wide open. That's Spiller. Spiller turning on the Jets. He's got one man to beat. He's caught from behind. A Ron nice Conley. tackle from behind by the Tigers, Cedric Anderson. But how about Trey John Spiller taking it 44 yards? And that's exactly what you need to do out of the timeout. Spiller, the 6'3 receiver out of Clean, Texas, taking the crossing route there, getting the pass from Conley, giving some hope and as well as momentum back to this Prayer Views offense. So some drama here in the third quarter as Prairie View comes up with the first big Conley's play. Dash. Of the second half, and it's that guy, Trey John Spiller, who made it happen for the Panthers. So they fake the run to Antoine, throw the pass over the top, and it's going to be incomplete. They were trying to hit Shamar Savage, and it's over his head. Play action fake there. Conley draws the linebackers in, takes the ball out the belly of the running back, go deep to Savage, just let him a little bit too long out of bounds. 25-yard line. Yeah, and that's not a bad play. You know, you just had the big play. You try to catch him sleeping, see if you could hit him with another one. This time, Caleb Johnson checks into the backfield for the Panthers. He's standing to Connolly's right. Connolly's going to keep it after the fake down near the sidelines, and it's going to be incomplete. incomplete. He was trying to hit Savage again. So Savage said, give me another shot at it. <laughs> Didn't get it. Savage. Looks like Savage there, man-to-man -man coverage. I wonder if he stepped out of bounds. Yeah, you saw so. the officials yeah, send the cap down. Yeah, I believe he stepped out prior to the, to the ball ground, coming to him. Line. But if Conley would have kept down. the ball in the belly of the running back, man, he had a wide open lane in the middle. I thought he gave it yeah. to him because there was a lot of running room right yeah. there, and he pulled it out and tried to throw the pass, and it goes down as an incomplete pass. Your prayer, you got to produce some points on this drive here. This is your third possession in the second half, I mean, in the third quarter. You got to be able to produce some points to get back into this game. Conley on third and ten, empty backfield, has some time, dumps it off the crossing pattern to Bloomfield, and he dropped the ball, or or else he would have ended up getting the first down because he had a lot of running room in front of him. Yeah, Conley let him a little bit too long on his passing play, couldn't be able to get underneath the pass to bring it in for the reception. Now it's fourth down. Does Coach Bubba McDowell goes for it? Or it looks like they're going to go for the field goal. So they will go for the field goal, and they will bring on their long kicker to attempt it. That would be Guillermo Garcia Rodriguez. And last week, if you're not familiar with him, he came on in the last second of the game, and he drilled a 46-yarder for the win. So here is Rodriguez from 42 yards, and his kick is good. A great kick right there by Guillermo Garcia Rodriguez. And he drilled it to put the Panthers on the board as they close to within three. 16-13, Tigers still out in front. We're going to pause for a timeout. We'll be back with more action from the Cotton Bowl. Doritos created Solid Black in 2021 to help fuel the initiatives of black leaders seeking to drill change. 
this year, Dorito Solid Black is welcoming 16 new change makers to the program. We are Solid Black. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the fall in hydration levels. Mm. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish. Talking about dropping the ball. I got the score. Tostitos Hardy Dippers. We are exactly what you think. We are not at all what you think. We are past, present, and future. All in one. Best way to honor our history is to make history. General Motors, honored to sponsor the Southwestern Athletic Conference. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool your school. We're powered by purpose. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the fall in hydration levels. Mm. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish. And welcome back, everyone. That last scoring drive by the Prairie View Panthers. Six plays, 58 yards, 142 yeah, taken off the clock before Garcia Rodriguez came on and hit the 42-yard field goal as the Panthers now pull to within three. They trail the Tigers 16-3. Grambling getting set for another possession here in the second half. Villa Gomez's kick sails down to about the three. And here comes the return. And the Tigers are not going to get much out of that. That was Joshua Johnson on the return, but great coverage by the Panthers. Nine yards on the play. As you see, Bubba McDowell, the head coach of the Prairie View Panthers in his second season. Of course, a lot of you are going to know Bubba from his years with the Houston Oilers. Seven years as a defensive back with the Oilers. Yeah, Coach Bubba McDowell brings a lot of experience, not just from a a player standpoint, but also coaching. He's been with Prairie View for quite some time as well, getting only two seasons now as the head coach. You know what I thought was cool about that when we asked him about that? I'm asking him, like, why Prairie View? I know you yeah. had some opportunities. And what do you say? It's just a good fit with the culture. He enjoys where he is. He feels like he, he owe it to the kids. He's just vested there. Absolutely he's invested there, and he wants to be able to follow through on the promises that he made to a lot of kids that he recruited as an assistant now that he's the head coach. Some razzle-dazzle from the Panthers on the end around. And it's going to be a huge play by Robertson. 29 yards on the play. Robertson on the reverse. In around reverse there by the Grandma State Tigers. Catching Prairie View deep and sleeping. Give it to your speedster on the outside and be able to come around the edge. And that's exactly what Robertson did. Use that speed to be able to help the Tigers will be able to move down the field. Javon Robinson, the 5'6", 180-pounder from Florida City on the reverse, turning in a big play. So back to Robinson again, and he's going to get another nice gain for the Tigers. 5'23 and counting after he picked up eight yards on that one. What we're seeing now, right now, we're watching the speed of the Grandma State Tigers and one man, and that's Robertson. He's going to the sideline for a much-needed break. Back-to-back -back plays where he utilized utilizing his speed. Coach Hugh Jackson has to love the effort that he's seeing from his top runner in Robertson. Well, and that's the thing Coach Jackson told us that he really likes about Miles Crawley is that he gets the ball in the playmaker's hands and he let them do their thing, and that's what we're seeing right now. So the Tigers go to the run. It's going to be Chalk trying to bounce it to the outside, but the Panthers would not give it up. They're a good defense. And no yardage on the play. That was number 20, Dewan Lewis, 
who was there to help turn him around. Yeah, Lewis did a great job, a great job keeping the outside edge, keeping containment, forcing forcing Chark to be able to bounce it back to the outside. Defense collapsed on him for a short game. So third and two. They go to straight run. It's going to be Chalk, and he picks up the first down. Floyd Chalk, the 5'9", 185-pounder, picks up seven yards on the play. Yeah, Chalk is a hard-nosed runner, and we saw that there in the last play, watching him be able to pick up large, I mean, yards to be able to pick up the first down for the Tigers and help them keep this momentum going offensively. Yeah, that was a key first down right there. Chalk right now on the night, nine carries for 67 yards. So Grambling is throwing the football a lot, but now the yardage on the ground is starting to come. So first and 10, they go back to Chalk. He spins inside, helmet comes off, but he's going to have a nice gain of about five yards on the play. Chalk has to go to the sideline now. Once your helmet comes off, you have to go to the sideline. Yeah, the, the flag that's down on the field will be against Dewan Lewis. Yeah, Marshall. 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 Face mask. Face mask. Defense. Defense. Number 70. 15-yard penalty. 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 Add it to the end of the run. First down. First down. Actually, he said the penalty was against number 70. Because his helmet came off as a result of a foul. Got it. It actually was number seven yeah. for Prairie View. That was Jeremiah Harris. Yeah. Correction, number seven. There we go. You beat <laughs> right him to the punch, Lima. Right on cue. <laughs> First down. down for the Tigers now. At the 23-yard line. We all make mistakes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Give back to that reverse again. And here come the Tigers. But this time, the Panthers are waiting. And it was Jeremiah Harris <laughs> stopping Williams after a two-yard gain. The sophomore said, I can make up for that penalty for face mask. Watch this as the Tigers try to come back with another reverse. Harris closing in with the outside linebacker speed. The reverse sophomore be able to bring him down for the stop. Well, that's the old saying, though. Fool me once. Yep. You know, <laughs> couldn't fool me twice. So second and eight line. now coming up Third, for the Grambling out, Tigers. Eight. Oh, we got a <laughs> lot of movement here. We got a receiver that's 10 yards downfield. He had a linebacker that was in the backfield. Five, Got an awful two. lot going on. Second down. So the penalty will be assessed, and it'll be second down. They'll replay second down. Got a little anxious there on the outside, huh, if you're a receiver. It looked like it was Dickerson. Right now, let's check out the penalty total. Six penalties against the Tigers tonight for penalties 45 yards. Penalties, their Achilles heel this season. Coach Hugh Jackson, Jackson talked about that, Third, trying to minimize down, that, 13. especially against a tough team like Prairie View. Yeah, we're nearing the end of the third quarter now. Clock down to 245. But Grambling with the ball, with a nice drive, trying to answer the field goal by the PV Panthers. And now another whistle before they could get the snap away. Timeout. Timeout. Grambling. Grambling. Their first, first of the half. So the first timeout of the second half by the Tigers. I mean, this is this offensive uh, role has kind of slowed down a little bit in the second half. And I say that, but that just means that maybe the defenses have stepped up a little bit. Yeah, and it starts with Grambling State. Their front four has done a better job in the second half, and especially in this third quarter, slowing down the running game for Prairie View, closing down the running lanes and be able to get line, tackles behind the line of scrimmage. You know what I wanted to ask you? Yes, sir. We just wanted to go back to the Hugh uh, Jackson talking about how it was personal tonight <laughs> and how every game was personal. And what he went on, to, he went on to expound on that a little bit. And he mm -hmm. said it's personal because he felt like last year's team got beat up a little bit. Yeah. And, and they, you know, they, he didn't feel like they got the respect necessarily. Well, you have to understand, Grandma State comes in any stadium with a lot of tradition and history. And in the fact that he came in trying to implement a new system as a new co uh, coach with a lot play. of professional experience, Grandma. people try to take advantage That's of that and try to, Muscle them up and beat them up. But this year, he said it's personal. He's going to come out and try to establish second himself. Down. They're doing a really good job in the second half. Six plays, 66 yards on this drive as Crawley throws to the end zone and it's the back of the end zone and good double coverage there. He was trying to hit Spiller, but the Panthers were right there to cause the incomplete pass. As for Spiller on his night, Four catches tonight for 108 yards, and they were trying to get more. Yeah, Crosley tried to take a shot at the end zone, going deep. Double coverage there by Prairie View. Late coming in was a safety in Lewis. Tigers third down, 13. 
Excellent job there by Prairie View closing in and being able to stop that play from happening in the end zone to live another down. Looked like that ball might have been just a tad late. Didn't catch him right on the slant when he cut uh, toward the post. So now here we go. Crawley in the pocket. Fires out near the sideline. Has his man. Robinson shakes one tackler. And he's finally going to be dropped by Warren Shankel, just shy of the first down after a 10-yard game. And Crosby goes back to his favorite target. It's a freshman in Robertson to the outside. Robertson makes the first guy miss, almost made the second guy miss, was able to be brought down a little short before the first down. So now the Grambling Tigers are looking at a fourth down play here, fourth and about three as we reach the two-minute mark here in the third quarter. So... This is a big down for Grambling. They lead by three, and Coach Hugh Jackson looking for an opportunity to put more on the board. Yeah, if you can get the first down here, that's going to really continue to help you build this momentum going into the fourth quarter if you're Grambling State. Now they're going to talk about it. Timeout, Timeout. is called down on the field, and Grambling. this is a big call. That second, because they already... On the half. 30-second timeout. Their second time out of the half, you already put three field goals on the board. Yep. You know, you have an opportunity here. You could match the field goal possibly, but they're going to talk about it because they look like they were going to go for it for a second. Yeah. First and foremost, you want to regroup, and if you're Coach Hugh Jackson, you want to reemphasize to your guys or reiterate the fact that no penalties. Remember in the first half, the penalties really shot them in the foot and be able to push them back to be able to force the field goal. So you want to explain that to your team, but also it's time to step up. He said it's personal. Here it is. You got to get the first down. <laughs> yeah. And take a look at our swag slate of games here, which is coming up. Brought to you by Pepsi tonight. Some big games coming up. Bethune at Alabama State. Grambling at Alcorn State. Jackson State at Alabama A&M. Florida A&M goes down to Southern and Mississippi Valley State, taking on the Prairie View Panthers. So they're back on offense. We will see what the Tigers have for this fourth down. And three yards to go for the first down. Robinson goes in motion. Now he sets. Crawley to throw it. Has a one-on-one -on -one at the top of the screen. And it was almost a touchdown. But we do have a late flag after the pass was incomplete. He was trying to hit Lyndon Rash again in the end zone. And there's a flag down. And Y.N. Myers will tell us exactly what's going on. But that looks like it could be pass interference. Yeah, it can be face guarding or pass interference by Prairie View on Rash. If you're Crosley, you want to go to your playmaker up. Pass interference. There it is. Defense. Number six. Foul occurred in the end zone. By rule, the ball will be placed on the two-yard line. Automatic first down. You know, what if you just give Crosley a lot of credit here because he put that ball up. It was fourth down. You have to give your team a chance. you got to give them a yeah, chance. Really you can watch ball. there on that play. Pass interference the late in the end line. zone. Crawley feeling the pressure down the middle First as the blitz package echo. came in. Threw it high for his wide receiver to get it. He's able to be bailed out with that pass interference call. Another set of downs. Four more downs for Grambling State offense. Yeah, Ahmad Robinson was the defender on the play and the guilty party of the flag. I just like the fact that he threw it up there. It was yeah. fourth down. It does you no good to take the sack. He gave his team a chance to make a play, and they got bailed out by the penalty. So. And this is right now. This is Floyd Chark. Uh, situation right here. Give it to your hard-nosed runner to get into the, into the end zone. He's in the backfield. Fake to Chuck. Pass to the back of the end zone. Lyndon Rash makes a sensational one-handed catch, but he was out of the end zone. He thinks he was in the end zone, but the officials say it's an incomplete pass. And, and Butch, it's very tough to make those type of plays here with little to no real estate. Trying to throw it in the back of the end zone. Rash got his hands on it initially, but it didn't run, ran out the back of the end zone for the incomplete pass. Second and goal now. They turn. Give it to Chalk. Chalk breaks one tackler, but he's going to be dropped short of the goal First line. Looked like he took it down line. to the one. If I'm an old lineman right now, I'm saying, Coach, give it ball right back to Chalk. It's personal. This is right now. The game is one up front. you got to give it to your, to your workhorse. Chalk now in the backfield. He gets it again, but they couldn't get it off before the flag came out. And you can see Chalk motioning to the sideline. He wanted the ball, but instead, here we go. All start. Offense. Number 79. Five-yard penalty. Third down. Again, the penalties in the red zone has been a problem for, uh, for Grandma State here tonight in Dallas. 
Yeah, I, you know, by yeah, my count, that's the third the time the they've been in the red zone, knocking at the door, and they've had a big penalty that have set them back. So now it's going to make it third and six. Six for a touchdown. Let's call it third and goal uh, for the Grambling Tigers with Miles Crawley at quarterback. Man to man up top. Fakes it to Chalk. Fires a strike, and it's a touchdown for Grambling. That is Lyndon Rash with his second touchdown of the night. And I called it man-to-man -man coverage at the top. Rash knew that last time he was going to the back of the end zone. Well, this time he goes with the quick slant, and Crosley was able to connect with him across the middle for the Grambling State touchdown. Watch this in the replay. As Crosley gets the snap from the center, fakes the handoff, and was able to catch Rash coming across on the quick slant for the touchdown for Grambling State. Man, they love to go to Rash in this situation. He's one of those big body drive receivers, 220, 25 pounds, the leading receiver from last year, and he got a one-yard touchdown pass there. But he's the guy you look for if you have to pass down in that situation, and it paid off. But how about Hugh Jackson deciding to go for it on fourth down to keep the drive alive? Yeah, and right now they look like they're going for a two-point conversion as well to try to extend this lead. So Crawley at quarterback now will throw it. Fires to the back of the end zone for his big tight end, Josh Quiet, and he couldn't quite come up with the catch, so it's an incomplete pass. Make it 22-13, the Grambling Tigers in front. But a lot of strategy going on on this drive. You have to gamble on fourth down. You get it down near the goal line. You pass instead of trying to pound it in, and the Grambling Tigers... Like you said, there's a lot of receipts being going on <laughs> right now for the Tigers in this game. Yes, sir. You know, Coach Hugh Jackson says personal. Well, they showed it on that last series in the red zone, making it personal, getting to the end zone and extending this lead. And you can see the numbers now for our quarterbacks from tonight, 18 to 32 for Crawley, 179 on the other side, 9 to 19 for Conley from 176. Now that last scoring drive, by the Grambling Tigers, 11 plays, 87 yards, and they did it in 4 minutes and 32 seconds, and they overcame a penalty to push the ball into the end zone for the touchdown. Great execution there by Grambling State, though, being able to stay focused and be able to make, make up for the miscues that they had in the red zone, but also execute and get into the end zone to be able to extend this lead, keep the momentum on their side, and be able to try to end this winning streak. they five years, they haven't won this series. So they're looking right now as a fact going into this fourth quarter with the momentum. Of course, we've seen the Perry View Panthers in this situation at least twice already this year. Yeah. And they've come out victorious every time. So we got a lot of football left to play. 106 to go here in the third quarter as the Tigers go with the squib kick again. Down on the ground, bobbled, and then picked up and covered quickly. So the uh, Prairie View Panthers will take over and start with the football in fairly good position. But once again, Tigers trying to take away the possibility of a big return. And if you're Coach Bubba McDowell, this is the time you lean on your senior quarterback in Conley. We saw the stats early on from both quarterbacks. The thing that jumped out at me that Conley has zero passing touchdowns so far throughout this game, whereas Crawley, Crawley has two. Line. If you want to be able to get back into this Crawley game, it starts now. with your senior quarterback, and that's Conley to be able to lead the team down the field line. right now. Yeah, Conley has cooled off just a little bit in this game. His last seven attempts, he's missed six of his last seven as he has three receivers to his right. Going downfield, lofts it high, and it was almost it caught by Bloomfield. But the flag on the play is down, and Bloomfield thinks he was interfered with on the play. Absolutely was. He was held the whole time. Bloomfield had to step on the defender. If I'm a defender, I'm not mad at you. If you got to step on me, I'd rather get a penalty for holding and allow you to get a touchdown. Defense, number 20, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. So the pass interference will be a first down for the Panthers. Conley didn't take him long to drop that one down there as we take a look at the penalties for the night. First, the total yards, 255, as you see on your screen, as they go to the run. It's Ahmad Antoine, and he's knocked back. Not much going on inside. You know, we talked about the penalties in this game. So far, it's a war you don't want to win. Grambling is winning the penalty race tonight. Eight penalties for 94 yards. Prairie View has eight for 55 yards. Yeah, Grambling last week had 11 penalties for 98 yards. So 
I mean, if you're Coach Hugh Jackson, I guess you, if you have to pick your poison, I mean, I'd rather take the lead <laughs> with the high penalties right now. Prairie View with the football as the clock ticks down in the third quarter. They go back to the run. Ooh. Ahmad Antoine is, is into the secondary. Check that. Call it Caleb Johnson. And Johnson takes it to the house. Caleb Johnson, 53 yards for the Prairie View touchdown. And just Caleb like that, Johnson. Panthers right back in this ball game. That's how you do it. If you're Prairie View, lean on that running game to get you back in the game. Excellent blocking up front. And watch the acceleration down the lane as Johnson be able to explode down the lane to get Prairie View the touchdown here in this third quarter. Yeah, let me apologize to the folks at home right there. It's, it's hard for us to see here because of the way the jerseys roll up on the back. That was number two. Yeah, it was actually Connor Wisham on the carry. And when you look at their running backs, they're five, three, and two. So it's kind of hard to see. But that was Connor Wisham with that explosion blowing out of the backfield, taking it all the way right, down yeah, for the yeah, big touchdown oh, for the Prairie oh, View Panthers. Yeah, Wisham, the fresh, I mean, the sophomore out of Brownsville, Louisiana. Excellent job again. Watch this Ladies replay here. Look at the block in the front, creating a running lane, and wish him just be able to explode through down Main Street as he goes down the field to be able to escape away from the defenders, giving Prairie View an opportunity to get back into this game here late in the third quarter. Well, they use all three running backs, and, of course, Coach really likes Wisham. You know, he thinks this guy has that home run speed, and we saw a little bit of oh. it right there as he just burned everybody. You know, three plays on the drive, 67 yards. It took him 52 seconds to get the touchdown on the board. And now we have a 22-20 game, Grambling still out in front. And But you made a great point earlier on talking about Prairie View's been down this road before. Two games against, you know, the game against Texas Southern, they had to come back and win in overtime. The game last week against Alcorn State with the walk-off field goal. So they're familiar with this situation. They have a mature team, a lot of seniors on there. So they're looking at Coach Bubba McDowell saying, hey, we got this. We're finding a way to get back into this game. And they definitely did that on that last offensive series. Impressive job there for the offense. Yeah, so far this year, they've been the cardiac Panthers. <laughs> no lead has been too big for them to come back from. And right now they're trailed by two, two points as they kick it off to the Grambling Tigers. And the kick... Is long, and so the Tigers will go on offense, first and ten. But how about that Connor Wisham? You know, he stands on the sidelines, and you just got to be ready to go whenever your number is called. And that time they called number two, and he turned it into a huge touchdown for the Panthers. And but you know, this as a former player yourself, next man up, and Wisham was able to get in there as a sophomore and be able to execute offensively for the Panthers. Good play calling, good blocking, great blocking up front by the offensive lineman that allowed the sophomore to explode down the field to get the touchdown for the Panthers. So you see Grambling, last time they had the football, they took it down, had made a nice drive, got a touchdown pass to Rash. We will see what Crawley comes up with this time. Crawley goes to the running game, and a nice run right there by Chance Williams as he hurdles one would-be tackler and picks up 11 yards and the first down. Williams showing the athleticism. Watch, he hops right there over the defender. You can't count your head down, Lewis, as a safety. Williams make you miss going above, picking up the first down. End of the third quarter. Yeah, that takes us to the end of the third quarter after Miles Crawley and the Tigers from Rambling. They have the lead by 2, 22-20 over Prairie View. And a lot of action here in the second half. Crawley with a TD pass to Lyndon Rash. We'll be right back. Why do I choose a sleep number smart bed? Because when your bed is this smart, you sleep at the right temperature all night. That's why 80% of NFL players choose the sleep number smart bed. At Chamberlain University, we believe in running towards challenges, not away from them. We believe that one person can change countless lives. We believe in giving our everything to everyone. Because most of all, we believe in always being there for each other. If you believe in that too, join our community of 140,000 strong and become who you're meant to be. Chamberlain University. Belong to something greater. <laughs> Your favorite moments shouldn't be trapped here. Or here. 
Shutterfly gets your photos off your phone and into one-of-a-kind wall art, gifts, photo books, and more in just a few clicks. All covered by our 100% happiness guarantee. Your memories deserve better. Your memories deserve Shutterfly. Get your photos off your phone and get 40% off everything with code TV40. Did you know you can get someone to shop for you? Stitch Fix really gets me and what I need. Even better, they save me a trip to the mall. It's easy. I share my style, size, and budget, and they do the shopping for me. Stitch Fix sends me things that fit and make me feel like a more stylish version of myself. I keep what works and send back the rest. No subscription required. No commitment. Just my style. Stitch Fix. That should hold it for now. What should we do? I know what to do. You do? I'm going to cashnetusa.com. I can apply in minutes, and if approved, we can have the money in our account as soon as the same business day. You're my hero. Saving the day is easy with Cashnet USA. When you need money fast, be the hero. Go to cashnetusa.com to apply for the money you need now. The trio is back. Better than ever with so much more fun. More mischief. More action. All of this and so much more with the Disney Bundle. The Orquistas Dance Company at Grand Lake State University is very unique. Try out every week is nerve-breaking. If you're not putting in any work, you won't touch that field. You always remember, this is why I dance. Here's where legends are born. And every match is a spectacle. Celebration like no other. For the love of football. For the love of La Liga. Thank you for watching Swag Football tonight, presented by Pepsi. Butch Alcindor and Lemont Williams with you watching the Grambling Tigers as they lead Prairie View 22 to 20. We are starting the fourth quarter in this ball game. Of course, this is a big Swag West game between Prairie View and Grambling. And Crawley looking deep down the sideline. Back shoulder, and it's good. It's caught. And a big play. Miles Crawley. A big pass from Crawley to number 10, Lyndon Rash. And Rash has had a huge night. Those two guys have hooked up a lot. Yeah, Crawley going to his top receiver here in the second half. And Rash thought Rash pushed off just a little bit. Unfortunately, I mean, he did not get called for the penalty, but he was able to come down to the reception and extend the drive for the Tigers. So first down, Gramley has 21 now. And Prairie View has 15 in the ball game. So the Tigers continue to dominate that time of possession that last pass good for 37 yards to Lyndon Rash as Crawley will throw it again goes to the screen pass to Miles Chance Crawley. Williams and Williams is Back caught and two. not Kevin much Thomas. room there at all so Thomas it could be a short gain if any on the play yeah it was really good closing speed there by Green the linebacker the senior out of Fort Worth Texas closing in on Chance Williams bringing him down no gain on the play ball remains so that'll make it second down and 10 to go for the Grambling Tigers. As they're back trying to answer the Prairie View touchdown, a 53-yard run by Connor Wisham right before the break. Second and 10 for the Tigers. Fake the run. Dumps it off to Robinson. He has a seam, and Robinson still on his feet near the sideline, and he's finally taken down by Calvin Presley. Man, Robertson is so dangerous, Butch. The freshman, watch this here as he dumps it down to, uh, to Robertson. You put him in space, he's very dangerous, and he's hard to bring down as well as we watch that through the Prairie View's defense, try to get him down. Javon Robinson, the 5'6", 180-pounder. They go to the run. Straight ahead is Chance Williams again on the carry. They come the Tigers. So the Tigers pounding it in there, a little ground and pound happening for the GSU offense now. Yeah, picking up the tempo here, trying to go quick snap. Second, Second and goal to go for the Tigers. They go back to Williams. Big hole and he's in for the touchdown. Chance Williams takes it in. Four yards for the touchdown. And then he grabbed the back, but I think maybe that was part of the celebration <laughs> yeah. there. For just a second, it looked like it was a hamstring. Oh, no, but it was part of the celebration. Yeah, Chance Williams, their top rusher, rushed for 174 yards last week. And two touchdowns. Well, he got his first touchdown here, faking like he hurt his leg to celebrate with his teammates. 
Yeah, this young man has some skills. Yeah. He has some skills, and it didn't take him long to get in the end zone right there. Four yards on the touchdown to Chance Williams, who's from Scotlandville, Louisiana. Well, I tell you, Coach Hugh Jackson said it's personal. He can smell it here. He's trying to break this, this winning streak by Prairie View five years in a row. He wants to be able to get it on top here with this right, lead now. Was it 28 to 20? Rinker with the extra right, point, and it is good. And Rinker's right, had himself a nice eight. game tonight. Oh, a yeah. couple of few, few field goals, a couple of extra points. And the Grambling Tigers add to their lead. It's now 28 20. We're going to take a timeout and be back to the State Fair Classic in just a minute. When you join the HBCU family, you become part of the tradition of breaking barriers in your community, breaking ground in your career, and bringing it with everything you From how you look to how you move in the classroom, on the court, and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those to add to it in the same way. We are exactly what you think. We are not at all what you think. We are past, present, and future, all in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. General Motors, honored to sponsor the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Doritos created Solid Black in 2021 to help fuel the initiatives of black leaders seeking to drill change. And this year, Doritos Solid Black is welcoming 16 new change makers to the program. We are Solid Black. Talking about dropping the ball. I got the score. Tostitos Hardy Dippers. In 1920, an athletic league was formed and slowly became one of the leading sports associations in the world of collegiate athletics, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Today, the SWAC is looking towards the next century, growing, supporting, and transforming our intercollegiate sports activities for student athletes and promoting academic excellence. Each SWAC member institution represents a high level of integrity and sportsmanship. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. Back here at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas, we are here at the State Fair Classic, now joined by the director of bands for the Prairie View A&M University, of course, Dr. Timmy Zachary, over the marching storm. How are you doing, sir? I am wonderful. How are you? I'm doing well. Well, first of all, you talked about you've been with the marching storm for a while. What does it mean for you to be here at the State Fair Classic? It's always exciting to bring the students down. We do a lot when we're here in Dallas, a lot of recruiting and a lot of... Um, philanthropy for the band. We go out and we give a lot of community service. So we're doing a lot while we're here. You guys have had an opportunity not just to be at State Fair Classic, but really grow the band and do a number of different things. Talk about some of those events that you've had a chance to play at. Uh, we did four high schools on yesterday. We did um, Cedar Hill. Uh, we did a level up uh, for middle school students. There were about 1,500 middle school students. We did Soundview last night, and we did Samuel yesterday. Wow, and then, you know, the other thing is, when you guys come, you guys are like celebrities as well, especially in this area because you recruited so much. What do you tell the kids when they get ready to join the band about being a part of this particular band? My statement to everyone that is going to be a member of the Marching Storm is that we are trying to recruit people first. Yeah. If you're a good person, you're a good fit for us, no matter what your talent level is. Dr. Timmy Zachary, the director of bands at Prairie View A&M University, back to you. I wonder if Santoria has gotten into that fried ice cream yet. You know, I mean, everything at the State Fair is fried everything. So yeah. we'll, we'll pick it up with Prairie View with the football now. Conley, under some pressure, comes out, throws down field, has a yeah. man all by himself. It's Bloomfield. Excuse me, that is Brian Jenkins Jr. by himself there with a nice catch for 44 yards from Conley. Conley, the ability to escape pressure and be able to keep his eyes down the field to find a wide open wide receiver for Prairie View. Good job there for the offense. They go back to the run, a big hole right up the middle. It goes, and that's Antoine 
Amon Antoine on the carry. By the way, that last yeah, scoring nice. drive for Grambling, six plays, 75 yards, two minutes and 30 seconds before Chance Williams took it in from four yards out for the touchdown. But Prairie View's got something going on here. Yeah, don't look down. Prairie View's attacking this Grambling State's defense. Got to give them credit, bouncing back. He called it earlier, Butch, the Cadillac <laughs> Cardiac uh, Panthers. Second and Ooh, one, is. Conley is caught in the backfield and dropped by Carter, who's been very active today for the Grambling Tigers. That is Javon Carter. Carter beats the man one-on-one. Watch the screen at the top, number 95, pushes the tackle, gets off the tackle to be able to bring down Conley for the sack. Minus three yards on the play as Conley goes down, but Carter's been in that backfield a lot. Javon Carter for the Grambling Tigers. At now six. we're looking at a third and six to go for a first down for Prairie View. Great field position right now for the Panthers. So they're having an opportunity to score. Third and six for Conley. He steps up. Good blocking. Now it goes away. Conley keeps, and he's going to be dropped on the 25-yard line. A gain of five the for the Panthers. Line. Huge decision right now for Coach Bubba McDowell. It looks like they're going to stay guys in the game and go for it on fourth down. We timeout. do have an injured player Four on the field player. and a timeout for that Long injury. Player. It's one of the Grambling Tigers Tiger tackle as some of the medical goal. staff comes over to take a look at him. And so as they help him up, that is Carter who's being helped off timeout. the field. We're going to take a timeout and we'll be right back with more. Welcome to Ideation Station. As you write, Grammarly can suggest personalized ideas to kickstart your paper. Definitely this one. Interesting topic. Do you know where you want to take it next? Yes, I can make this topic even more focused. Let Grammarly create a customized research plan so you can get organized. Perfect. 94% of students say Grammarly helps improve their grades. Download Grammarly for free. At Chamberlain University, we believe in running towards challenges, not away from them. We believe that one person can change countless lives. We believe in giving our everything to everyone. Because most of all, we believe in always being there for each other. If you believe in that too, join our community of 140,000 strong and become who you're meant to be. Chamberlain University, belong to something greater. Hungry Root is a lifesaver. It's quick, it's healthy, and it's so, so good. The recipes are ready like that. Yum. Hungry Root came through. I've never felt this good. I've always been prone to hair thinning. I'm genetically predisposed. I just gave birth. I was under a lot of stress. I started taking Nutrafol. We test our formulations with the highest rigor of clinical trials, and we're the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement. I noticed it becoming stronger and thicker. Nutrafol has taken me back to the hair I was meant to have. I am back to me. Start your hair growth journey at Nutrafol.com. This drive for the Panthers, uh, 54 yards so far, but this is the big play. And then officials, we have a whistle on the sideline to stop it. It's fourth and... Timeout. Grambling. Yeah, third and final timeout. Wow. Of the half. So Grambling must have... 30-second timeout. Grambling must have seen something in that yeah. formation that they didn't feel like they were ready for because they called timeout right after a timeout, after we had a timeout. Back-to-back so. -back timeouts, and that's their last and final timeout for the game. So that's going to be coming down. That's going to come down to the wire as far as clock management. That might hurt them if Prairie View is able to get this first down and also score on this drive. You see some of the grambling faithful at the game tonight, but, boy, we're getting set for some drama right now. <laughs> we have 10.48 left in the fourth quarter, 29-20, grambling out in front, but Prairie View staring down a fourth and one to keep this drive and a scoring opportunity alive. So they come back. 
Strong set to the left side for the Panthers. And they give it straight ahead, and it's going to be close. I don't know if he got there. I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it. Good shot from the outside, coming from the outside edge. Sunday Anderson. Number Sunday nine. Ida Anderson yeah. leading the charge. The young man who a preseason all defensive player in the SWAC may have made the biggest defensive play of the game. So it depends far. on the spot. Four measurements. Yeah, I don't think he got it. Lewis Matthews also at the bottom of that stack. So the Grambling Tigers had some of their best players right there on the stop. As you see, Coach Hugh Jackson on the sideline. He doesn't <laughs> think they got it. No, he's confident that the ball is coming back to his offense. Again, the theme all week is this personal. Give credit to Anderson, the senior out of College Park, Georgia, shooting from the outside, right side, unblocked to be able to stop the running back in his momentum. We'll see here on this measurement. measurement. Yeah, he's an interesting story. You know, he gained, you know, about 25 pounds in the offseason to possibly get ready for the draft. Wow. And according to that measurement, let's see. Wow. You could say wow is right. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't get close to it. A great play by that Grambling defensive line. Talk about a momentum switch and showing your physicality. Let me ask you, how important was that timeout that Hugh Jackson took now seeing yeah. what happened? <laughs> it was huge. Where we kind of second-guessed it, back-to-back -back timeouts. Well, Hugh must saw something we didn't see from the sideline. Got his defense realigned and, 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 and talked him up. Well, it was, sharp, really dark, hard, it it was a great call down. because he must, like you said, we were just coming out of a timeout. He saw something in the alignment that the Panthers were trying to do to get the first down. They made an adjustment, and boy, what a, you talk about stopping them cold. Just a great play by that defensive line. So the Tigers take over on offense. They've been very good on offense today, rushing for 173 yards in this game, and they go to Chance Williams, who jumps away from a possible tackle in the backfield, and Williams is going to turn nothing into something as he picked up eight yards. And that's why you have athleticism at the running back position. Watch this. He hops back, then he cuts in and cuts back out to get away from the tie, I mean the defensive end to be able to pick up some positive yards. That play looked like it was going nowhere from the beginning. So 181 yards rushing for Grambling tonight and 232 yards passing. So that has been the Tigers' offense tonight. Williams, 16 for 77. This time, the pass to Quiet, and he's going to be quietly knocked down in the backfield <laughs> around the 30-yard line. Yeah, for every was not fooled on that play, give credit to number nine, Keyshawn Johnson, their quarterback on the defense, and their leading tackle this season. Closing in on that play to be able to stop him for no gain, forcing third down now. So it seems like all of a sudden that clock is starting to uh, tick a little bit now. We're down to 940 to go in the ball game. And the Grambling Tigers have the football in a nine-point lead. And so far, Crawley has completed his pass to seven different receivers tonight, but they couldn't even get that one off. Flag down, and you see the running back signaling to the sideline that it was against the offense. Ball start. Offense. Fire beyond penalty. Third down. They've been able to overcome some of those tonight, but that was a big one because Gramley wanted to take as much as they could off the clock on that possession. Yeah, penalties has been their Achilles heel this season. With the momentum and a nine-point lead, you cannot afford to be able to continue to shoot yourself in the foot here if you want to break this winning streak by Prairie View and win this classic. So third and eight. Crawley fires near the sideline, and it's complete. But a good defensive play right there. Guess who? Grass, the top receiver for Bra I'm excuse me for Grambling State in the second half. With a comeback route, good execution there by Crawley. Look at the pitch and catch there. Put the ball exactly where your receiver is going to be out of his break. You have to get the reception and get close to the first down. Yeah, really good job though by Malachi Harrison, holding him short of the first down. So that's going to bring out Jimmy Isles. Uh, he's had a good and Jim bad night. I mean, he's had a really good punt, and he had one really bad one. So we can see what Jimmy comes up with with eight minutes and 40 seconds to go here in the ball game. Panthers will get it off of this punt. Isles takes his time. Hits it high and deep. And the fair catch is called for and made. By the Panthers, that is Brian Jenkins Jr. on the fair catch. So Prairie View 
All set to go back on offense after that 42-yard punt. Yeah, if you're Prairie View right now and Coach Bubba McDowell, you got to be able to get get the ball back to where you lost. I mean, that field position that you lost early on with that four for one. Conley got to continue to keep his eyes down the field and find the open receiver to be able to move this offense down the field and be able to put some pressure on the Tigers' defense. Trazon Conley, the 6'2", 185 senior from Dallas. So I'm sure he has a lot of family and friends in attendance for this one. So Conley to throw on first down. Had some pressure. Stepped up in the pocket. Got hit as he released it. And oh. it's going to be intercepted by the Tigers. A fine defensive play there by Grambling. That is number four, Cedric Anderson, with the first interception of the night for the Grambling Tigers. It was the pressure on the quarterback, though, that caused the interception. You're right, Butch. You can see the pressure coming from the outside as Conley steps up in the pocket. A little behind the receiver and closing speed there by the defensive back for the interception. First miscue there by Conley all night, especially in the second half. It's a bad timing, too, as the ball goes right back to Grambling State. What a great job by Cedric Anderson. But the ball did float as Conley was barely hit yeah. right when he released it, caused the ball to float a little bit, and gave Anderson the time he needed to step in front and make the turnover for the Grambling Tigers. Yeah, back-to-back -back huge plays there for Grambling State's defense. The first one was a four-for-one stop to be able to turn over the downs. And the second one was the interception right there by Anderson. So Crawley to Rash. That's been a popular combination tonight, and they hooked up again near the sideline. Pick up a seven Rash yards by Rash. Rash is, Rash is having himself quite the ball game yeah. tonight for the Grambling Tigers. Impressive second half. I mean, you want your big-time players to step up. And right now we're seeing it from Rash. He's doing an excellent job by getting himself open and finding, and Crosley's finding him when he's open to be able to connect for those receptions. Once again, they could not get the snap away, and there's going to be there's another penalty. Ball start. Offense. Number 55. Five-yard penalty. Second down. Jawan Singletary, the guilty party on the offensive line, so that's another one of those penalties that are penalty. going to put the Tigers the back. Meanwhile, for Lyndon Rash, I mentioned Rambling. he's been having an outstanding night. Five for 68. But he's been in the end zone a couple of times. So just an outstanding night for that young man who was the Tigers' leading receiver from a year ago. So they go back to the running game. And this one's not going to go too far. Good recovery there as Chalk is knocked down after about a gain of, call it two yards inside by Chalk. Yeah, with well, less than 10 minutes to go here. We're approaching actually seven minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. I anticipate Coach Hugh Jack can be very conservative and want to be able to control the clock, time management, right? That was one of the keys for the uh, for the game is uh, time of possession right now. Grandma State's doing a good job by controlling the clock but also be able to keep their eyes and try to get the ball down the field to try to extend these drives. So Crawley on third down and eight to move the sticks. Elder in the backfield. Pass is caught. Nice job by Nashawn Dickerson near the sideline. Right on cue there. You can see Crawley going out to the outside, man-to-man -man coverage, finding his receivers. Again, keeping your eyes down the field, finding your receivers for a positive yards and extending the drive. Dickerson, a nine-yard pickup. That's going to be a first down for the Grambling Tigers. So on third and eight, they got one more than they needed. So they go back to the run, and it's Elder on the carry, banging his way inside. Keelan Elder on the run for the Grambling Tigers. Grambling starting to wear him down. Fresh legs into the game. First time for Elder, Elder in the backfield. Fairview is making some changes right now defensively. At the 44 yard line. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if the Tigers Second wouldn't start milking the clock here. They snapped that one pretty quick. Crawley with a pass near the outside and is caught by Robinson. Javon Robinson has another. First down for the Tigers as they move the sticks. Robertson picks up the first down. He's a freshman making play. But look at the blocking right there by number 19. Jones holding the block as Robertson gets away for the first down and out of bounds. Robinson has also had a big night catching the football for Grambling. Several receivers. Antonio Jones has been outstanding tonight. So they've gotten the football to a lot of different receivers, and they've made some big plays. So now we have another first and 10 for the Tigers. They go back to the run. 
And a good stop. Jamal Marshall leading the charge from that defensive line for Prairie View as Elder didn't get much inside at all. Yeah, if you're Prairie Call View it right, a yard. Yeah, if you're Prairie View right now, you got to strip the ball or do something. Force a turnover. Try to try to get the ball back to your offense. You can't allow Grandma State to continue to build on this momentum and, and eat the clock away here in Dallas. Crawley taking his time as we are down to the 445 mark in the ball game, Grambling with a nine-point lead and the football. Call it second and ten now. Well, excuse me, make it second and nine as the officials again blow the whistle. And you can see number 55, Jawan Singletary, pointing up at the clock. There's no foul for the lay of game. Please reset the play clock. Well, Jawan was right. They did not <laughs> reset the play clock. So being very observant there. So now we're down to 430 and counting as Grambling goes back to the run. That's Elder on the carry. He cuts it back in, and that's a tough run for five yards by Keelan Elder. Yeah, the offensive line is winning the battle up front. Watch the offensive line as they pull around, knocking back Prairie View's defensive line and linebackers as Elder sneaks right behind those two offensive linemen pulling to get positive yards. But the most important thing, keep this clock running here late in this fourth quarter. Elder is another one of those grambling Tigers who hails from Dallas, Texas. So... It's a homecoming for those guys. I mean, yes, this sir. game is a party anyway. And then when you're from <laughs> Dallas and you got your family and friends the there, you, you really want to show out in a big game like this. Absolutely. So we're down to four, 340 now and counting. And Elder with the ball, nice job evading a tackle in the backfield. And then he gets very close to Not another an first down. It's like he's going to pick up three, and he might be a yard shy of that first down. So Keelan Elder who went to Duncanville High School in the Dallas area. Yeah, Prairie View right now seems that they're wearing down defensively. I can see them taking some deep breaths defensively here in this shot. So now this is interesting. Fourth down for the Grambling Tigers. They need about a yard for the first down and to continue this drive. They do have a two-possession lead, so they're going to go for it. Call it fourth and one. And the handoff straight ahead, and it, he gets a big push from his lineman. That's going to be a first down for the Grambling Tigers. Good hard-nosed run there by Chance. No, it was actually Floyd Clark Elder. coming into the game. Yeah, chalk on the carry inside, and a power and got a lot of help from his offensive lineman. And this drive is now five minutes plus. Wow. Talking about wearing down the defense. We have, do have a flag on the play now that they're – going to check out, but My the first down stands. On both teams. After the play, unsportsmanlike, defense, number six. After the play, unsportsmanlike, offense, number 11. Fouls, offset. It's both players, first unsportsmanlike of the game. That was Ahmad Robinson on the defense and Nashawn Dickerson on the offense. But for the Grambling Tigers, the news they want to hear is they got the first down and the first down <laughs> held up now, so they have a chance to burn some more of that clock. Yeah, and some frustration is kicking in from the defensive side of the thing of, of the field for Prairie right now as they can feel this winning streak starting to slip away here with less than three minutes to go. Crowley turns, and he gives it to Elder. And Elder bangs straight ahead. Four yard on the play. You know, it's interesting that Elder is the running back in the ball game right now because he's the sledgehammer. They got him in there just to pound the middle and pick up some yards, and as I say that, he's going to check out. <laughs> Job well done by Keelan Elder. We're going to pause for a break. It's 29-20, the G-Men out in front. Welcome to Ideation Station. As you write, Grammarly can suggest personalized ideas to kickstart your paper. Definitely this one. Interesting topic. Do you know where you want to take it next? Yes, I can make this topic even more focused. Let Grammarly create a customized research plan so you can get organized. Perfect. 94% of students say Grammarly helps improve their grades. Download Grammarly for free. Hey, look at you. Floors by day, student by night. Student by day, baker by night. 
PT by dawn, Dean's List by dusk. Crushing classwork online during the morning rush. Always powered by Penn State World Campus. Since 1998, we've led the charge in online education, offering access to more than 175 in-demand programs taught by our expert faculty. Penn State World Campus delivers on your time. That should hold it for now. What should we do? I know what to do. You do? I'm going to cashnetusa.com. I can apply in minutes, and if approved, we can have the money in our account as soon as the same business day. You're my hero. Saving the day is easy with Cashnet USA. When you need money fast, be the hero. Go to cashnetusa.com to apply for the money you need now. Hungry Root is a lifesaver. It's quick, it's healthy, and it's so, so good. The recipes are ready like that. Yum. Hungry Root came through. I've never felt this good. Swag Football on ESPN is presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods and outdoor retailer of the SWAC. Home Depot, proud sponsor of the SWAC, and by Nike. And of course, the Nike slogan is just do it, and that's what the Grambling Tigers are doing tonight. They are leading in the State Fair Classic from beautiful Dallas, Texas tonight. Grambling Tigers up 29-20, and they have the football with 2.43 to go in this ball game. Yeah, Grambling State doing a great job, impressive second half, running the football, controlling the clock. There you go, man. There it is. There it is. It, it probably was, were those corn dogs? I mean, I can't tell what that is. I mean, I you know, I got to get on Santoria about that. Maybe he's going to bring some stuff back. You yeah. Know? Bring some stuff upstairs. Let's see. So Tigers with the football. And they hand off again, so they keep it on the ground. And the running back, which is Caleb, excuse me, number three, Floyd Chalk, tries to go upstairs. Grandma State's coming with a counter sweep. <laughs> Floyd Chalk has to be careful, though. Can't leap in the air like that all the time. Got to protect yourself at all costs. Chalk came into the game fresh, and he tried to leap, and he did not work, but he picked up six yards on the play. So now we have a third and three for the Tigers. Getting close to two minutes to go, and they'll pass it. Crawley deep down the sidelines. It's an incomplete pass and a good coverage on the play by the Panthers. And, Butch, I'm very surprised of that play call right there. You've had the success running the football throughout this fourth quarter. Why would you go for a shot like that down the field on third and three? You would think with them controlling the clock and also running the ball with the one-two punch, we're running back to you go for the first down and try to end this game. But, again, that's why I'm in the booth with you, <laughs> Butch, and not on the field, Coach. Well, and that was Tariq Mulmore down the sidelines trying to make the big, excuse me, making the big defensive play for the Prairie View Panthers. And now on fourth down, the Grambling Tigers are going to go again. Fourth and three. They're trying to ice this game right here, folks. We had movement on the line, and the officials caught it. It would have been a 50-yard field goal if they had attempted the field goal, but instead we have a flag down on the play. And Crawley does not agree. You can see him right there saying hello to our referee for tonight. <laughs> Why in Myers? Offense. Offense. Offense, number 71. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. Well, that's Melvin Priestley again. Yeah, 71 is having a bad day when it comes to red zone and getting closer to the red zone is penalty right now. 11th penalty of the night on the Grambling Tigers. So that may change what they're going to do here as you see the offensive unit going over to the sideline on fourth and eight, and they will punt it. So Jimmy Owls will come on to kick the football. So that penalty changed the whole strategy there for Grambling. And also going on third and three, going for that passing play, if they would have ran the ball, it would have made it fourth and short and wouldn't help. I mean, hurt them as well. But again, Grambling has the momentum, and they're punting the football right now. As Jimmy Owls comes on to kick it away, Grambling 
did run six minutes and ten seconds off the clock as Prairie View has a late substitution, and now we have whistles on the play. You saw several yeah. Pra Pra Prairie View Panthers run on the field late, and then we get the flag. Timeout. Timeout. Prairie View. Their third and final timeout of the half. 30 second timeout. So a Prairie View timeout. We'll be back in a minute. Grambling up 29 20 over PB. Are you ready to invest in yourself, your talent, your smarts, your skills? Get the returns you're banking on with a rewarding IT career that could start in months, not years, at My Computer Career. The high demand for IT and cybersecurity experts means your income could be safer in a more recession-resistant career. Already in IT? Why not skill up in cybersecurity and networking for open positions employers are desperate to fill? My Computer Career. The right training, the right timing, the right career. Bank on you at mycomputercareer.edu. Your favorite moments shouldn't be trapped here or here. Shutterfly gets your photos off your phone and into one-of-a-kind wall art, gifts, photo books, and more in just a few clicks, all covered by our 100% happiness guarantee. Your memories deserve better. Your memories deserve Shutterfly. Get your photos off your phone and get 40% off everything with code TV40. Hungry Root is a lifesaver. It's quick, it's healthy, and it's so, so good. The recipes are ready like that. Yum. Hungry Root came through. I've never felt this good. I've always been prone to hair thinning. I'm genetically predisposed. I just gave birth. I was under a lot of stress. I started taking Nutrafol. We test our formulations with the highest rigor of clinical trials, and we're the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement. I noticed it becoming stronger and thicker. Nutrafol has taken me back to the hair I was meant to have. I am back to me. Start your hair growth journey at Nutrafol.com. Time now to check out tonight's Three, player of the game play. presented by, excuse yeah, me, we're, we're going to get to that in just a minute. We're, we're going to talk about, about our player of the game in just a minute, but let's go down on the field where the Grambling Tigers will punt the football away. Jimmy Isles on to kick it. Gets his kick away high and sailing down, and it's going to be fair caught. At about the 13, about the 13 yard line. So let's Jenkins. go to our player of the game now, which is presented by Gatorade. This guy was a unanimous choice. Lyndon Rash of the Graham League Tigers. His numbers tonight six receptions, 68 yards, two touchdowns, and he had 51 yards after the catch. Yeah, but he was the difference maker in the second half of the Grambling State Tigers offense, being able to execute and be able to be a playmaker in the red zone. Rash did an outstanding job, especially in the red zone for the Grambling State Tigers, producing touchdowns and help them keep that momentum here in the second half. So the Panthers go upstairs, and that's not going to create much. He does pass, complete the pass complete. to Antoine. He got four yards Maybe on the play, the but the clock now becomes... Antoine. The enemy also is the clock and the Tigers Four for the Panthers. Four six. yards on the play. Amon Antoine on the carry and a good recovery by the Grambling defense. Only two up. yards that time. Wish out. Brought down at the 19. And right. now the clock is running again. Yeah, clock management is key for Prairie View as they burned their last time out. Panthers second down. Five. 145. And the officials are going to talk about something again. So it's been an interesting ball game. But the one thing you can say is Grambling can kind of set the tone Please at the beginning. Reset the clock to 1-31. One, 1-3-1. One, 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 three, three, one. That was a good catch by Y.N. Myers. Start on my whistle. Good catch by our referee, Y.N. Myers, because on that completed pass to Antoine, clock didn't move. No, it, 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 it did you. not move. So he, he caught it right away and picked up on it. So now... 
We're looking at 131 to go in the ball game. For Trazon Connolly and company, they trail by nine. Connolly is flushed, and he's caught, and he's dropped. There it is. A sack in the backfield. Keyshawn Johnson on the sack for the Grambling Tigers. Good pressure there by Grambling State to be able to close in on Conley. Watch the pressure come from the outside at the top of the screen. Forces Conley to roll back to the left, and he's sacked right there in the backfield by the Grambling State defensive end. Excellent job. Grambling State playing with an attitude and a toughness there we want to see throughout this fourth quarter. I'm impressed. Seven-yard loss on the sack by Keyshawn Johnson. That is his second sack of the year. More pressure on Conley. He's caught and dropped. Caught him near the shoulder pads and pulled him down. And the Tigers are celebrating. I think that was Sonny Anderson in the backfield there. <laughs> Feels good to be able to get a sack there on third and long, but also to be able to have an opportunity to end this winning streak. We talked about it early, Butch, about how Prairie View kind of owned this classic for the last five years. Well, Hugh Jackson told us all week in our press conference or in our conference call with him that this is personal, and you can definitely tell Grandma State defense made it definitely personal in the second half, stepping up, bringing pressure, bringing down Conley throughout this game. So the Tigers. As you can see, Prairie View trying to get their defensive team out on the field. You see some guys coming out late. Oh, that and then back-to-back -back sacks here line. in the fourth quarter by the Grambling Tigers. So that defense just erupted and, and took over for the Tigers. Ball goes over to so the Tigers, with this Grambling. win, they're going to improve goal. their record Run to 3-2 three three. Two overall and now 2-0 and oh in SWAC play. Crawley turns. He gives it straight ahead, and he's into the end zone. His chalk with a touchdown and for the, the Grambling zone, Tigers. The icing on the cake, the if you will. Touchdown. And the theme of this entire game, you said it a minute ago, for Coach Hugh Jackson's going to be, it's personal this year. <laughs> He's taking that approach to every game. Excellent job there by Floyd Clark. To be able to get the ball and be able to get on the outside of the guard to be able to sneak into the end zone for the seal the deal for Grambling State here in Dallas, Texas. And a on the As they celebrate the, the end zone. Looks like Coach Jackson got a Gatorade bath, or one of the assistants got a Gatorade bath, because the streak is ending tonight as Grandma State's now back on top of this class. You know, they didn't get the 282 yards rushing they got last week, Rangers but what they did do was get 210 yards good. rushing, which is a hefty total for this ball game. Running game by committee. You've got to give credit to, you know, Chance Williams, Floyd uh, Chalk as well as other guys coming in off the, off the bench to be able to help with the running game to get over 200 yards rushing tonight. So the Prairie View Panthers, like we said, they've been the cardiac Panthers this year, but uh, they have an impossible task in front of them right now with 39 minutes to go as we take a look at some of the numbers. Chalk has 15 carries tonight for 84 yards and a touchdown, and his running mate in the backfield, Chance Williams, 16 carries for 75 yards. He also had a touchdown. And a one-two punch, the ground and pound by Grandland State established himself after the pass game, helped them early on in the first half. Coach Hugh Jackson goes to the running game in the second half and sealed the victory here in front of their home fans and still this classic back, taking it back to Grambling, Louisiana. So you can see, uh, you know, what a nice crowd on hand for this ball game tonight as some of them have decided to go home, uh, obviously. But the Grambling fans are still celebrating <laughs> in the stadium and at home. It's going to be a party all night. Grambling State is going to have a ball here in Dallas, and they're going to have fun. It's been a while since they won this class, and they're going to enjoy it tonight. Well, it, it is so funny because talking to Hugh Jackson, he's so much aware of the history of the Eddie Robinsons and, and the history at Grambling State, and he wants to get this team back to that history. And so the squib kick the football. is finally picked up, and now they lateral it back, and that's going to be losing more yards on the play for the Panthers. By Freddie Bird. So now we're down to 30 seconds to go in the game. Trevion Green maintaining possession. So 35 to 20 is our score here as the Prairie View Panthers come out. And for the Prairie View, you know, this is the first time this season 
that they didn't have a chance. You know, they came in two and two overall. They were two and zero oh in conference play, so that will make it two and three, and two and one in conference play. Yeah, they first lost in the SWAC conference, and you got to talk. We talked about the fact that this is the battle for the West Division right now. Grandma State looks like they're gonna to be able to take you know bragging rights with this victory. But Prairie View's a team that's gonna bounce back. You know, Bubba McDowell is gonna regroup, and reset his team as they look to play next Saturday. Conley, yeah, and you mentioned the, the five-game winning streak for the Panthers will end tonight as we hit the 22nd mark to go in this ball game, and it's just a, a lot to celebrate tonight for the Grambling Tigers. Yeah, I mean you gotta you gotta give credit to Hugh Jackson. I mean he, he set the tone early on when we talked to talked to him in the conference call. You can just feel the momentum. He was in good spirits. They did transition to his team and they played well tonight. That takes us to the end of the ball game. And as you can see, Hugh Jackson right there, the head coach, the victorious head coach of the Grambling Tigers, taking the victory march, celebrating there with one of the stars from tonight's ball game. That was Lyndon Rash with a big hug. And just give me some of your final thoughts on this one because, you know, for the first half, we had everything we thought we this like game would be. Yeah, range. you got to give credit to Grambling Grizzly State. Made some halftime adjustments. Concert. Came out in the second half, established the running game with their one-two punch and Williams and, and Clark as well. As you got to give credit to their defense. I thought their concert defense, their front four, was able to slow down Prairie's running game and made it one-dimensional in the second concert. half. That's a great scene. Post Head coach Bubba McDowell and Hugh That's Jackson. Let's go to Santoria Black now. All right, we are here with the winning coach, Coach Hugh Jackson. Grambling State University wins this game. Coach, talk about your initial thoughts on this game. Well, I'm just excited for our fans, for our football team, our coaches. They worked extremely hard. We wanted to end the streak, and we got it done. What did you tell you guys at halftime that made a difference in this half? We had to go dominate. We had to go dominate this half and win the game, make plays, take the ball away. We did all those things. And you said that your defense was going to make the difference today, two big turnovers at the end. Absolutely. We needed those. Our guys just keep fighting. You know, I got a scrappy bunch, you know, led by our quarterback and Lewis Matthews and Sonny on defense and Carter and those guys, they play. And I just can't thank them enough. Coach, go enjoy it. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, the Grand State University Tigers win a big one. Back to you, Butch. <laughs> thank you, Santoria. And for Coach Hugh Jackson, tonight's theme was it's personal. And it was personal for the Grambling Tigers. So, for Lemont Williams, our producer Sam Trade, I'm Butch Alcindor saying so long from Dallas, where the final score is 35-20. The Grambling Tigers come out on top. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.